What's up? I said I said in a previous stream, I don't know if many people were there for it because it was uh, it was one of my Tuesday streams. But I said, I want to start every stream that way. And the only thing that stops me is uh, demonetization. And today at the dog park, a friend pointed out when people upload to your VOD channel, when it's accessible to other people, because I want my uh, VOD managers to be able to get the ad revenue instead of me. Uh, that they can just use the YouTube editor to chop out what's up, mothers. That's the intro now. What's up, mothers? <laughs> oh my God. It's an yep, energy, though, that's isn't it? Perfect. Couldn't be better. It's it's a vibe. It's a it's a flavor. <laughs> hey guys, we're exhausted. Um, it's report card week from Amadrock. It's my final semester. Uh, oh my god, my pen just died. I was just using my stylus and it died this second. I uh, I can fix it. I'll just be back in a sec. I just need to... I. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Tech issues. <laughs> the curse. The curse of the tech issues. <clears throat> I'm getting a new computer soon, so once I get a new computer, I'm hoping that all the tech issues can piss Usually, right off. if I unplug and plug back in the USB that's connected to my uh, drawing tablet, it works again. Hey, it did it. We did it. I'm just going to be doodling today. I don't think, I don't have any em emotes I want to make at the moment. Wait, yeah, you do. Wait, what was that one we came up with the other day? What was the good one? Yay, good for you, Lee. Thank you so much. Yo, oh my god, it was me. It was it was me and my frozen face. That's the one I wanted to do. Never mind. Hey, patrons, you know this Happy one. Happy birthday. Oh, it's someone's birthday? Happy birthday. I guess I just realized with how many viewers we have, it's probably almost always someone's birthday when we stream. Should we just Not do like necessarily. Should we just do a happy birthday every stream? Only to people whose birthday it is, you strange weirdo. <laughs> Happy birthday, folks, whose birthday it is. No. Come on now. Get your shit together. So for people who are in the Patreon, you might know that uh, my camera froze for a while and people wanted to turn my frozen face into an emote, so I'm going to do that. I had one I wanted you to make, too. What was that? I'm going to have to remember, but I can't because I'm too busy moving little boxes around. Yeah. Mama Drock is moving little boxes around. We're only redoing two tier lists today. All of the other tier lists are going to be fresh. We're not, we were going to do animals. We decided against it because it's been taking too long. We want to do stuff that we can spend more time discussing and less time moving boxes. Last minute. Sorry about this, Cricket. Cricket helped me get some animal pictures. We just, Mama Drock decided that we're not feeling it. So we're going to stick to ones that are more discussion focused. Um... Let's but I don't have the island. I thought there was going to be an island. There will be an island tier list. Someone is currently making it. Okay. So it will be made partway through the stream. I'll cut away from your screen. And yeah. Yeah. Are oh, you, you watching it around awesome. for me? Yeah, I forgot to do uh, an announcement. And because it's a tier list day, it just felt like it wasn't worth doing a late one because these are casual. These are just for, these are hanging out. These are us having fun, hanging out with you guys. Willowy tail, unstable place in your life right now, but mom piece every Saturday is so calming to you. Oh, well, you have no that, idea how much that means. That I means had a lot so of years of a, of a lot of anxiety and a lot of panic disorder, and I am totally in the good now. And I can I can <sighs> honestly say finding out that this calms other people makes me feel so happy. Jolly, send it to me. Absolutely. Uh, it turns out the island tier list is done. Oh, did you get all of the Straw Hats training islands, the places they go to uh, for the time skip? Because if not, add those before you send it to me. Yep, perfect. Send it to me. Whoops. I keep bumping my so mic. So am I the only one that you sound like you are? Oh, that's that's a good look right there is what that is. Yeah. Uh. I always look like, a futuristic, look like a futuristic cyberpunk, cyberpunk, kid. cyberpunk kid. Yeah, but I always, I, I always do. Have you seen my hairstyle? I'm ready for the cyberpunk era. I look like I'm already prepped to have a data jack in the back of my head. Have you seen Edge Runners? Everybody looks like this. <laughs> I think it's just ironic because that's one of your favorite poems you ever wrote. Yeah, uh, that's not one of my favorite poems. That is my favorite poem I've ever written. Is a, a poem about a cool cyberpunk guy. Uh, why did I write a poem about a cyberpunk guy? Um, it's very simple. Uh, 
I like writing poetry about stuff that people wouldn't feel like should be a poem. Yeah, fair. Ooh, how Holy do I make, I need to make an exaggerated version of this so it works with the uh, emote size. Uh, when are we going to create our own series? Oh God, what a question. What do you mean? Uh, sorry, if someone asked when are we going to create our own series? Like, are we going to write a thing? It's not non-possible. You read? You mean like write a manga? Yeah, I'm, we're not going to write a manga. That's too much work. Now I want to write a manga. Uh, what's a poem? <clears throat> Good question. Uh, writing that isn't prose and isn't like, isn't prose, isn't academic, and isn't like um, correspondence is a poem. That's basically what po poetry is. Poetry is all writing that is not correspondence um prose or oh god what's the yeah a academic slash uh bureaucratic what's the term for like a manga that's great <laughs> i have thought up okay so i have thought up a manga power system that i really like uh and the power system would be a world it's kind of like how I haven't seen it, but it's like how in Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, oh, God, my brain. In Jujutsu Kaisen, your personal flaws are your source of power. I thought it'd be cool to have a power system where the idea is instead your idea of what power is defines your power. So if information is power to you, your abilities are based off of information. If physical strength is power to you, your physical strength will be your power. So the way that power would manifest in this world is based off of each person's conception of what power means. I thought that would be a really cool power system and there's a lot you could do with it. And the main character would be someone whose idea is information is power, but not the idea of oh, having information but the idea of communicating information is power. So he has the ability to uh, basically uh, te telegraph to people what he's going to do to make them have to make hard decisions to put them in a bind uh, or the ability to like hit somebody hard and implant a realization into them, like punch his perspective into them. I just thought it'd be a cool character, a cool way to conceive of a power system and a cool way to have a main character have to use like a less traditional power than everybody else in the series. Yeah, okay, so everybody. I don't brag. Yeah, every battle is a battle <clears throat> of ideologies because it's two people's definition of power clashing. That's exactly it. Hold no meeting to and... I'm going to beat some sense into you. Exactly. Because he's punching you and making you realize your way is wrong every moment. Because every punch is driving his ideology into you and his perspective. Exactly. I think it'd be such a cool main character. Can you hear me? Uh, we're So uh, we're making emotes today. Uh, normally I do. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I was responding okay, to a question. All right, we're good. <laughs> hey you with hey. the face yeah me i have I'm a good. face it's right here i'm trying it you with the face i'm good you're good okay so oh you you you're ready you want me to switch to your screen yeah cool it's a terrifying power for a villain which is why i want it for a hero uh <laughs> tier list it worked. We did it. Look, it's so much smoother. So much smoother than it used to be. And then there's another tier list coming, right? Yes. Um, actually, I'm going to... Oh, you didn't open that one. I'm going to switch away because I just sent it to you. So I'm going to actually switch off of your screen real quick uh, so that Yay. people don't see your Discord. Whoop. Okay, open that one. Tell me when that one's open in another tab. Actually, there's right. two more because you need the villain tier list. Oh, I don't have a villain tier list. Yeah. Uh, I meant to send it to you earlier oh god people oh god book club blew up now i don't know how to find it <laughs> y'all been busy there we go i found it uh Ooh, I'm excited about the island tier list the island tier list is great i'm vi yeah um 
Let me go open that real quick because I was curious about it. This is exactly what I wanted uh, uh, of it. Like, let me visit. I'd like to live there and disappointing island don't go. That's so fun. Those are great. That's the exact kind of tiers I was imagining. Uh, hey, uh, you did perfect, by the way. There are two villain tier lists. I picked the one where the pictures are better, even though there's less characters. Sorry, that's better pictures. Mama Drak has what had problems the in the past with some of the pictures being in inscrutable, so... I just got one piece pre time skip antagonist tier list. Yes. It has about 700 people on it. Wait, I thought I said either one with less characters. You know what's crazy is I think I sent you the one with less characters. Okay. So. Yeah, the it's other one has even more. Skip antagonists and. Um, islands, right? Yeah. Oh, ooh, this is, yeah. You know what? They both have a lot. They both have a lot. I think the ones with close-up of faces is going to be better for being able to tell who it is. So I sent you the right one. Okay, look at this one. Is this the one you wanted? Take a look at that. Yeah, let's switch over to your screen so we can see. I'm pretty sure it is. We're switching to your screen. It's tier listing time. Whoop. Oh, that's not the one I meant to send. No. I sent, I, I did accidentally send you the wrong one. Let's get you the right one. <laughs> Guys, don't you right. love on the fly tech issues? Isn't this so, well, isn't this it is great? our intimate? This is our um oh, this, this is our stream and we hang out with like family members of of our yeah. channel. This is this is these are always the casual ones. It's consistent that every time we do one of these there's a bunch of tech issues. All right, I'm going to switch away from your screen again so you can open the right one. Uh I already did. Whoop. I'm oh, already did? starting. Oh, never mind. People saw your desktop. I guess it doesn't matter. There's nothing there. <laughs> okay, this this is more doable for me. This is more doable? The tier list streams yeah, do need tech issues. It's just mandatory. Tier list, if a tier list stream without tech issues, why even? Why even bother? Why even bother streaming, honestly? Okay, I just want to show you guys something. You see this here? You see this here? This rock? You see this rock? Yeah, I see the rock. I love this rock for so many reasons, but this uh -huh. rock is in the ruins of Rome and it's right outside of the area where um, Caesar's home was. And I asked the person, is this rock the same rocks as all the ones around it in the cobblestone? This rock has been here just as long as the other stones. And it's, it's a step, it's an actual step worthy. And they said, yeah. And I said, so this is the stone that would have been outside as part of the road that made up the road in front of uh, Caesar's house and they said yeah and I was like this is the coolest rock ever there's no way that he didn't look down at that multiple times and think like why are all the other rocks gray and then there's just this one I love thinking about that that like yeah that rock you can look at and have the same thoughts about as Caesar did that's so cool exactly there's something about that it is so awesome so whenever possible I like other people to get to see that rock as well all right, uh, should, let's start with the arcs because that's where we do our discussing. Okay. What did Actually, I didn't listen to you. You want to start with villains? We start with arcs. <laughs> we always start with arcs. I, I, I say always like villains? we've done it more than twice, to be fair. Ah, uh, fine. Vill villains it is. What? I, I said arcs. <laughs> All right, I guess you do what you want. We're starting with villains, everybody. I switch. Okay, fine, you switch. <laughs> so the first part of this, um, make sure you zoom in a little. Like, if you can, like, z just zoom in on the page a bit. You want me to zoom? Yeah, just zoom in a bit. It's a little small. It's a little small right now. I don't disagree. All right. All right. Can you zoom in a little Here bit more? Go. Yeah, there we go. We're getting there. Uh, so first things first, we want to reevaluate where you've put arcs and move some stuff around because currently. Hey, well, yeah, I feel really bad about that. I'm not sure how comfortable I am with it because I want to move yep. a lot of shit. Yeah, but but we knew this had happened. Like I told you very very early on that. Uh... Oh God, my brain is frozen. I told you very early on that my standards were higher than yours because I've seen how good One Piece gets. So I would be putting basically everything a little lower than you did for the most part. And you were like, yeah, but I'm not there yet. And here we are. Here we are. We, we there. Well, um, 
I, I think I'm going to keep all my go to level things where they are. I'm comfortable with that. I feel they're, like these are kind of, they're phenomenal. All of them. They're all really, really beautiful arcs, mm -hmm. but right away I'm moving little garden down to, um, Oh God. Yeah. To, uh, good. I honestly, yeah, yeah, it's good. And I feel, <clears throat> I feel a, a little unhappy about it. Logetown for me isn't about the arc. It's about the knowledge that we got in it. Like Logetown was fine, but it did have that excellent pacing and that piece that I loved That's, about it. it. It's what makes things like Jaya, Logetown, post Annie's Lobby so hard is that like so much of why you love them comes from like, reveals and information you get more than the arc itself yeah little garden for me was i thought it was fantastic but now that i look at little garden in retrospect in comparison to some of my other new pieces i just feel like little garden was mm -hmm. it was just good it was mm. there wasn't a whole bunch of new things revealed it kind of just helped to build the beginning of it and then yeah it was just good for me. People are asking, what's the reason for the drop? It's just, it's a bell curve. The more one piece you read, the higher your standards get because you see like the heights that we reach. Uh, Alabasta, Alabasta for me is now just the height of great. Oh, okay. Um, I love it. It's great, mm -hmm. but it's not as good as some other things. Long Ring Longland for me is is now just it's just good i i agree like it's not bad for sure it's it's a good arc it's it i think you pointed out things that people miss in it a lot uh that i missed a lot which is how much it thematically sets up what's important in the any's lobby saga but like yeah it's it's just yeah. it's good <clears throat> yeah um nicorion that's the thing I'm thinking is like Logetown is one I go back to all the time. I revisit it. I take a peek at it. I bounce my ideas off of it. So like I have to keep Logetown up there because I've read it more than any other chapter. You have spent so much time staring at a panel from Logetown. Yeah, but that, that's because there's all these massive feelings around Logetown. Like it, I might even move Logetown up to perfect interesting Ooh, fact, Town is so it. weird for that reason it feels like it carries so much weight but like what really happens but also it feels so important yeah that's what i'm saying is like Town is at a god level because what he does with that is he says like Ooh. let me set up a chapter between 96 and 100 that is so important and that feels like it's giving you so inf much information that you don't even know what that information means yet that you're going to come back to it multiple times to just have a little moment. Interesting. With Damn, that's a big, perfect is empty right now. Yeah. And can I'm going to move Drum Island down. Can I make a suggestion? Mm -hmm. How do we, how do you feel? Because perfect is empty. I feel like this is telling you that something has happened to the bell curve. I think you may with how much you like a certain arc you just read it might make sense to drop almost all but the top or even all of everything currently in Goda down to perfect because there's something that i think I was today having this feeling like for me yeah. impel down is now god level yeah so like i don't know if you want any's lobby to still be up there as well but like definitely i think no, i don't know yeah so how about because it's empty i think that's you telling what? us what's happened no, to the bell curve. I, these ones that are up here for me do something really different so let me just go through like okay any's lobby changed the game i had a bigger understanding of what the entire world's marines looked like so once we go into them later on i i had a very different understanding of what that looked like now i also understood what an enemy they were and how they mm -hmm. are used against people yep uh what are, what are we stalling about zach we're not stalling. We're moving. We're just debating. We're we're. This is this is the thing. This is the reevaluation. This is we're doing it. Yes. This um, is this is what so this is what it is. Is a tearless stream. Any's lobby there. Um, Jaya gave so much freaking secret information away. It was insane. 
right? Like yep. once I read Jaya, I was like, holy shit. Now I understand that I think that a world was moved up. I mm -hmm. think it was intentional. Um, I know no, I about- I wanna see the new stuff. I get you. okay. I know about a lost person, except uh, a lost um, nation. <laughs> I now have this idea of how we're going to connect things together. Like, it's a very different thing. Um, Skypea, no way I'm moving that down. That was one of my favorite things ever. What? I couldn't have even imagined something that what? good. Water 7, honestly, to me, would be one I'd move into perfect. I, okay, okay. My only argument was... I feel like to you, the way you've talked about Impel Down puts it on another level. And I see the Gota tier as this is something that it's hard to compare even to peak fiction. It's hard to say why it's spe so special and, and above the rest. And I'm never putting these lower. They they are perfect enough. in a different way. But for me, Impel Down is just going to take the top of the top. It's going to be God level, Gota level, the top. So let's, okay. let's just do that. Let's just do it. it is. We've said it enough. For me, Impel Down was like a whole new level of fiction. I just felt like, <laughs> yeah, that is, that is where she belongs. You... And <laughs> it was absolutely changing. It's, um, it's so I cool. would move post any's lobby. That, I mean, yeah 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 it's tough Arlong, Arlong, Arlong Park to me too now it's so upsetting but now Arlong Park just feels like really good really interesting it's Arlong Park it's hard to separate my nostalgia because it's the first time One Piece it, it feels like One Piece shows its hand and tells you how good it's gonna be but really like if you have to compare the feelings I get from Arlong Park, as strong as they were, felt at the time to what I felt like, it's one of those things where I would put it below Alabasta and Alabasta is not close to my top five. So I think I agree with you. The, the, the bell curve just keeps making it harder for the older arcs. Also, when these people are talking about Water 7 and Ennis Lobby being the same arc in their opinion, I, in my perfect world, this... Um, square would be cut in half and it would say any's lobby water seven because i don't understand how people can read them as separate things they are they are and they aren't but i maybe in the future we can um rank sagas that way we can get the whole story the train is not in here either right like yeah the train? we did well the train is seen as part of water seven technically and I think the train, Water 7, and Ennis Lobby yeah. are all the same thing. So maybe when we catch up, we'll do one for Sagas, where we uh, rank each of them by, like, the complete story they tell. Yeah. So anyways, Arlong Park, for me, has moved down to um, good. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. This tier list is going to be so hard when we catch up is absolutely correct. Yeah. At, at the very least, and, in my opinion, I think Oda's hit the point where the arcs aren't getting better from here on out. I think that they don't get worse. And my favorite arc is still yet to come. But I think which arc you like better from here on out is a lot more down to preference. Whereas for a long time, Oda was just like refining his craft and getting better as a storyteller. If you're looking to know, um, Katu, for me, um, I would put all of the saga of Skypea Jaya all. It would stay it would stay in Godland, 100%. Okay. Post Denny's Lobby is also good. Reverse Mountain, to me, is mostly about Laboon, but the reason I keep it in great mm -hmm. is because we went up a goddamn mountain in a sailboat. And All right. that only changed my view of this story. And when we came down the other side and went into a whale, and I saw all the different narratives that we were using for the first time in a very different way, this is when I realized how much mythology was going to play a part in a very different way, how much narrative narrative from other stories were going to be involved, and just how different the world was that I was coming to. Mm -hmm. And so I'm keeping it up here at great. I'm keeping Alabasta because more and more every day, <clears throat> I think um, that uh, Vivi's friendship changed everything. I, and I think that I absolutely agree. ended up being a huge important part of the arc of Luffy one day becoming a pirate king is Vivi taking all her years of experience and turning it into a hey it's time you learned about what it means to be a leader and how differently you need to think about this if you're going to be in charge of people 
So yeah, that's where I would go with that. Okay. Um, meh, Whiskey Peak. I would stay there. Orange <laughs> Town, I'd stay there. Have we? Syrup has Village? the bell curve reached where it is for me yet? Where Syrup Village drops to bad? Yes. <laughs> the prediction oh, comes bad. true. And I know you said that and I feel so bad about it. It's it's not bad story. It's bad by One Piece's insane grading curve. Uh, like like it's a it's a C plus student who's failing because we're grading on a curve and they've ended up in the wrong fucking class. That's not how I grade though, so I just feel so bad. <laughs> but on on tier lists unlike with real humans you kind of have to grade on a curve because otherwise like if we didn't grade on a curve and we graded according to the standards of most stories all of these would be imperfect basically like nine like 80 yeah, percent of the arcs would be imperfect if we graded by normal story standards you know what overseer i can't wait for me to catch up either mm -hmm, because then when absolutely. i predict things people can bite my ass they'll know for sure that i'm not just reading ahead like they keep thinking <laughs> I'll be like, boom. Okay, Amazon Lily. Amazon Lily. Ooh. Okay, I love it. I love the fact that um, it brought in the idea of comfort women for me when I looked at it, that it made me understand that this, this section that we were going into was going to have uh, some feelings and some history pulled in from World War II. Um, people were all pressed about my feelings about World War II and the pacifista and stuff. And I just want to mention, like, yes, I know the Japanese were forced into having a constitution based on the United States coming in and making them rewrite their constitution and take down their imperial um, family, change how that looked, not allow it to be the way it was before and take away any system that happened prior. So there were lords and ladies of any in the Meiji restoration and prior. But once you look out far enough, you understand that eventually the Japanese people came to see pacifism and non-fighting as something that belonged to them, that came from them. And when the United States asked them to change, they were like, no, this is who we are. This is how we see ourselves. So it's really important for me. Um, I'm not always going to go into all the history. I know the history. I know why I go there, but we're a manga story that we're going through. So I'm not going to spend, I could. Like, literally, I've thought about this, creating mm -hmm. a separate channel, just calling history in one piece and going I, into details of things that I think he's talking oh, about. I, really I think instead of, uh, so something that I've really loved recently, like my favorite analysis series on YouTube right now has been Murph doing literary inspiration in one piece. I don't think we need another yeah. channel for it. I think that we should just do deep dive historical conversations and like one about world war ii is essential because like world war ii in japan they aren't really taught anything japanese people on average don't know what a nazi is like the, that's true that is a true fact that most japanese people don't know what a nazi is and yet you have magellan dressed up as a nazi oda clearly knows a lot more about world war ii than your average japanese citizen so i don't think you're I stretching agree. at all to think that this is a reference to comfort women well, that and um, I looked and there was a whole bunch of different people who were talking about um, how they had done work on um, comfort women. Somebody said they'd done their um, doctorate writing a paper mm -hmm. on it. And once I pointed it out, they were like, oh, God, yeah, 100 percent. So I think when we catch up, I think it would be fun to do history days, because what people don't understand is if I say something like, um, the Japanese were a pacifist people and war was illegal and it's only supposed to be for defense. I'm I'm talking long game about all the history mm -hmm. that I know about that era and all the changes and after what happened with MacArthur coming in and all the other things. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm just coming to the end point and doing a little snippet because that's that's mm -hmm. what we're doing here. We have to move on. We have a story to tell. Uh, okay. So, so, so that, to, to answer two things quickly, Nitella, thank you for trying to convert people. It's amazing to have your support alone, but trying to get your friends in word of mouth is most of how channels grow. Uh, especially yeah. since we're not wanting to do, I don't want to do a lot of the shilly stuff. I don't want to do oh, paying for ads. I don't want to do clickbait. So word of mouth is the main thing we rely on. And that means a ton. And second of all, left jab. No, they don't know about Nazis period. They don't know Nazis existed. They, 
They don't know what they are. Like the average <clears throat> Japanese citizen does not know what a Nazi is. This is not made up. This is not a thing I'm inventing. This is a true statement because if they did, they would have to teach people that they Japan sided with them. And Japan's history is really, really handpicked to avoid stuff that makes them the bad guy. Um, I can tell you that they don't because we get a lot of Japanese kids in my school who come from Japan. And I often think how fascinating that is because sometimes it's the first time they've heard about different aspects of World War II. And I didn't understand how little they knew. Mm -hmm. And so I had a kid take me aside and say, is this real? And I was like, what? Yeah, yeah this is, that's kind of just surface history. Mm. And they were like, I've never heard it. No, no, no. Parasocial. They know that there were German army people. When, when you're saying they only know about their aesthetic, they know about German army people. They genuinely don't know the Nazis were a thing because if you ask the average Japanese person what a swastika is and you show them the Nazi swastika, they'll be like, I have no idea what that is. Uh, why is the shrine symbol um, tilted on a red flag and backwards? It's kind of disrespectful to have it like that. It, people will yeah. be like, is that like a metal band logo? Like they genuinely don't know what they are. When they think about military fashion, they know that there are German soldiers in the past. That's what you're thinking of with what they know. But as far as like Nazis, that is not a thing they know exists on average. Yeah. Obviously there are lots of people in Japan who know history. The average Japanese civilian looks at a swastika and says, why'd you fuck up the shrine symbol? Yeah. Somebody here pointed out very rightly so that we should start with thriller bark. I only yeah, put that's up, the order um, we went in. It does make down, sense. Because <laughs> I think, now everybody knows how I feel about Impel Down. I, I don't think there's any fooling anyone about my feelings about Impel Down. I think it is some of the best writing I've ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. The amount of history that I could go into in Impel Down um, from India, uh, mm -hmm. Germany, Japan. Um, there was a whole section on Thailand that I saw inside of it, the history that's in there. And then somebody else was talking about how um, that could also be a thing. And I go to sleep because I'm in Europe. You have a good sleep. Um, somebody else said that would be a really good thing to do with our um, Patreon. Mm, yeah. I think, you know what would be fun if we, I think for when we're doing history, doing a research stream with Patreon where we're looking stuff up with them and getting advice from them and then making like a conversation video after we've done the research with patrons. Yeah, well, it depends who they are because, you know. Yeah. We'll see. We got options. Yeah. Work with people who are historically, you know, savvy. Yeah. Okay. Or uh, things Deuce, that they want to hear uh, or Ox history Machina. that they would be into. I just want to bring up Let's Duke Sox is saying something very interesting, which is it's wild to me that Mama's favorite arc is the only one that doesn't have the straw hats. It does have straw hats. It has Luffy. It's straw hats, plural. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. If they'd stuck the straw hats in it, I would have loved that as well. Plus, are you discounting that he had number two, number three, and yeah, buggy we, and we had the temporary straw, straw hat hats. pirates. Yeah, they were straw hats. They just weren't our straw hats. Okay, we're going to start with Thriller Bark. Thriller Bark was fun. Um, yeah. Uh, but fun. It wasn't perfect, but for me, Thriller Bark is like the highest grade. It's so good. Um, I love Thriller Bark. Mama hates the straw hats. I just love being on this. People are like, it's official. Mama despises Nami. Um, and then after that, we have Amazon. Ooh, nope, we have Sabote. No, we have Amazon. Wait, nope, Sabote. I have a brain. I use it half time. Um, Sabote Archipelago was a massive changer. It's, and I met the dragon. And I hate the dragons. Oh, Sabote is going to be better than Thriller Bark for me. I, I see it as, I see it as a contender for perfect tier, but you're thinking top of great. I don't know yet. I'm looking at it. Let you're me looking say. at it. We're seeing where it feels oh, natural. If Water Seven is perfect, Sabote is perfect. I that makes sense to me. I I think they are. They both hit your heartstrings so deeply. I think it's crazy how quickly Sabote moves and how much it accomplishes in its page count. If we're going to talk about movement, that's Impel Down. One of the reasons I loved Impel mm, Down so that's much true. is I couldn't believe how fast he made the, the arc feel. 
and yet how articulated everything was. Mm -hmm. uh, Sabote has the excellent punch. That's a really good point. We do meet all of our other great big bads. Uh, love me a castle inside a castle fruit. Castle love me a dope. body filled with an army. Come on. Like so many cool things happened in there. Amazon Lily um, is amazing, incredible, and it's going to be perfect above Water 7 for me because of what it teaches me and what I got from it. Um, and I hate Marine Ford. You hate it, I hate it. But you have to admit it's very good. I hate it with my entire heart. Can, can I point something out about Marine Ford? Can I point out that they killed my ace? I can. You, you you can. You can point this out. Let me point something out about this, right? Uh, greetings from Germany. Love your streams and videos. Sadly, have to leave. Well, good night, Nevin. Thanks for being here. I hope you enjoy the VOD when you get to watch it. The VOD channel, uh, I have someone who's going to be helping me with it soon, and I'm hoping to make it so that other people can manage it because I don't have the time. Uh, I want to point something out, right? Everything it accomplishes, uh, the tragic death of ace that crushes your soul all of the incredible action, setting up the world players, moving this era forwards, having an arc for all of the big players we've had hype so far, bringing everybody in. 30 chapters. It is only 30 chapters, and it does all of that. Yep. You're not wrong. Like, I understand the brilliance of it, and I'm not going to base my feelings on it just on the fact that they killed Ace. Did I mention he killed Ace, though? Uh, you did. You did mention. I just wanted to make sure, because it's really important we point that out. Because he kills my ace. And I don't like that. But um, Marine Ford is one of the best written things I've ever seen. I didn't get to do the talk on it that I wanted to do. Mm. I had a whole bunch of historical things I wanted to talk about, about um, military strategic tactics. And, and a whole bunch of things because I recognized one of the pieces that he'd done as a thing that we did um, in World War II and I was like, that's freaking brilliant. And then I started to think about the strategic, um, the strategic military advancement. And I was going to like go into that. And then I didn't have freaking time. So we, much happens in Marine Corps. So Ford that much I was happens just like, so quickly. Boom. Yeah, it's, it's insane. But they killed Ace. <laughs> they did. They did kill Ace. Yeah, you know I, think have, I think there. I think Chat's right that it would have to be a video in and of itself to talk about the history uh, framework in Marineford. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to recognize that Marineford is god level, uh -huh. but I'm going to put it at the end as punishment for killing Ace. <laughs> okay. That's Fair how enough. that's going to go. You killed Ace. You killed Whitebeard. Um, feel bad about yourself and sit at the end. Okay. You know what I want to say is so funny? The way, way back, I told you, I think in Alabasta that you were going to need a tier above perfect because there was going to be stuff that impacted you in a way you didn't know stories could. And you were like, that's crazy. I can't imagine, I can't imagine liking something more than Alabasta. First of all, Alabasta is down to great from perfect. I know. And you said, like, I can't imagine something impacting me more than Alabasta. There's now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten arcs I are above know. Alabasta. About to be I 11, feel let's be honest. about it. But it's crazy how good this series is, isn't it? That I told you there's yes. going to be things that bypass perfect. And you were like, that season is insane. How can I like something more than this? There's now six arcs you have in the tier that the definition of is this did something I didn't know stories could do. Yes. Six times you've had that feeling, and I don't think you're wrong. Like, I feel that. Create a new tier called O'Devil to go along with Gata and put Marine Ford in there. That is a great idea. <laughs> Marine Ford should go in its own thing called <laughs> sit in the corner. You know, done. It's, yeah. it's so hard to sell people on One Piece because, like, like I've said before, it is a silly pirate co comic, but it is about so much more and it's so much better. But if you explain what it eventually is, you look like a lunatic when they first start. So all you can do is be like, you don't understand. It's so good that it's changed what I think stories can be. Uh, it's not wrong, but I'm going to forever resent Whitebeard and Ace. Yep. 
And I understand why that's powerful as an author and an artist. And you're like, ha, ha, ha. But that makes me want to boop you on the nose. <laughs> you know me. I love pain. I love misery. Marineford is pretty high up there for me. Uh, it's definitely, if, if I were doing this tier list, it wouldn't be my top. My top would be Annie's Lobby. Um, I don't blame the dead, you goofies. I blame Oda. I think, I don't. Yeah, I think mine would be, at this point, would be like Annie's Lobby, uh, followed by Marineford, followed by either Water 7 or Impel Down. Are you talking about for God level? No, no, yeah, for what my tier list would be. This is just like what I would put at the top, I think, is Marineford. Or, God, sorry, not Marineford, no. it's Annie's Lobby. Annie's, Annie's Lobby would be my belonged, top. And it not knows Marineford. what it did. Yeah, not Marineford, Annie's Lobby would be my top, I think, still. Like, I, I love Annie's Lobby. So you don't feel the way I feel about Impel Down? Uh, no, I like it. I think for me, Impel Down would be imperfect. Well, that's fascinating because I, I could not get over how much I enjoyed it. As I, I was reading it, I was thinking like, I can't, I can't believe how much I love this. I honestly arc. think before talking to you about Impel Down, it would be great for me instead of perfect. But I think you've brought a mm. lot out of it. Mm. Yeah, well, for me, I just, I was a astounded mm. by how much one human was able to drag in so much history oh, crazy so much religion so much politics i've taken a hit for it kids keep telling me about all the things <laughs> you're getting saying. a lot of comments that aren't happy with your political takes I'm on the arc where nazi satan runs the mega jail and fights a queer liberation army yeah people are pissed can you me. believe that mama drock thinks there's politics in the arc where nazi satan is fighting the queer queen of hell can you believe it i feel bad can apparently i just like <laughs> reading politics into my nazi satan fights queer uh, queen of hell story how are you doing this yeah. apparently i'm ruining this story <laughs> Adding politics into my story. Yeah, but on the other hand, I only, I really don't feel bad. Okay. Post-war? <laughs> She's an interesting one. It, this is um, a tricky beast to wrangle, isn't it? Yeah, because like, we, we find out a lot of wild shit and getting to see a backstory for um, Luffy and then getting a new brother out of it um getting to see how he becomes who he is amazing getting to see um how great uh ace is and then realizing that oda stole him from us yep um all of it next level but like ugh, it's not like you know what oh i think it's actually perfect for me but it's not as perfect as water seven I think that's exactly where it belongs to be. I think like yeah. Water 7 hits an emotional beat that like Water 7's a kind of a it feels like a gatekeeper to me honestly. Like Yeah. Like yeah, can you can you hit the emotion of Robin leaving the crew and Usopp versus Luffy? Like is such a bar to clear to get above Water 7. Like it, it, it's and I I think also, you put it in the exact right place. L, L talks is right as heck. Like he really does take away two brothers. I know for sure that he's alive. Like we've already talked about this. There's only so much. <laughs> yeah. There's only so if, much. Uh, if you, you missed can do to the post-war stream, I genuinely could not bring myself to keep up a straight face. I try my best. I couldn't bring myself to keep up a straight face of you. You don't know Sabo's still alive. Fucking I'll like, spill yes, those do. beans. I will. I'll. <laughs> I'll accept that I failed this one time. And I kept saying to him, I do know, stop, stop gaslighting me. You're killing me here. I know he's alive. Yeah, I um, couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't keep up with it. It just, I can't bring myself to pretend that, it, like, because all of my friends, now I know not everyone me has media literacy as like a skill. It is a skill. But all of my friends I've had read the series, not a single person has thought Sabo was dead. Not, not one person. So I don't feel bad about this one. Because he's not freaking dead. No body, no death. That's how I feel about <laughs> number two as well but i'm i'm sorry to say like when i saw the picture in one of it when um 
Yeah, but yeah, his boat has exploded. And then when Dragon shows up to his meeting that he was supposed to have, the person is like, why were you late? And he's like, I had a thing that came up. And then he's like, oh my God, what's wrong with him? Somebody said, like, come on, man. There's a whole thing that explains that Sabo was definitely in the water and Dragon definitely felt things for Sabo and Sabo definitely changed the way he felt about the revolution. And so uh, of course he saved Sabo. Like that just makes sense. But I, when I was looking at it, I was like, you need to stop gaslighting me. I just had Ace taken and I know Sabo's alive. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I keep saying, I can't wait until Robin tells us about Sabo. I, I hope that when we're uh, doing flashbacks, we're going to see Robin with Sabo because I know that he's with blah, blah, blah. And oh, uh, please let that be so. We already did a, we did a return to Sabo uh, read through. Uh, the review is going to be next week, I think, because next week's not the one you need off, right? No, next week I don't need off. Okay, going next week we're going to be reviewing after. it, but we already did a read through as a patron stream. So, uh, tier th uh, three dollar a month patrons got to. Oh, I wanted to own up to this. I said it was going to be one dollar a month to watch streams. My entire crew talked me out of it. That's why I changed my mind. I'm sticking to my promise that the first Patreon payout at the end of February will be spent buying Mama Drock the box sets. We'll be able to buy at least two for how many patrons we have subscribed, which is fucking incredible. So, we're going to be getting a bunch of box sets in february uh which should be pretty awesome actually i think the payout is for people who roll over so i think the payout soon actually so i can buy them soon for you and that'll be going right to mama drock but yeah we did the return to sabaody uh watch um yeah the vod is on patreon so if you become a patron you can for three dollars a month you can actually go watch the vod now um just so you know there's about 10 minutes of tech issues so if you skip 10 minutes into the vod you can get to the read through <laughs> what we had tech issues yeah when has that ever happened <laughs> uh but Let's yeah move along people oh yeah Ready also you get day. me beatboxing because at a certain point mama cut out and her, her mic was just saying i'm over and over again so i beatbox to it i forgot that part yeah you get no, me beatboxing it, it, i'm uh yeah, you get my beautiful frozen face for like fucking 20 minutes. <laughs> Love y'all's work. Thanks for streaming. Thank you, Super Wizard. Um, the good thing about it, you will need to put a bookmark in the physical in for the physical set, a hundred percent. Um, the good thing about it was though that um I I did not know how emotional I was gonna get. Mm -hmm. I got so so yeah. emotional. If you want to see peak emotion Mama Drock, just so you know, I'm going to wait until at least two or three weeks after the Return to Sabiote edited video is up uh, to post the VOD so that patrons get early access to it and uh, get that first. Uh, but if you want to ahead of time see Mama Drock be incredibly emotional to seeing the crew again, it's actually lovely. It affected her so much more deeply than we expected. I kept saying to everybody, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I did not know that it was going to hit me this much. I had no idea. I apologize. And then just like wazzing like a little baby. I couldn't believe how happy I was to see them come together. How proud I was of all of them for their different glow ups and how much work they put in. Oh uh -huh. my God. I was just waz, waz, yeah. waz. I'm not down into Fishman um, it's been, Island. Oh, part of why we're so frazzled is it's report card week for her, and I've had a lot of school to do. Both of us are brain dead. Yeah, Mary File. Um, that's the first time ever that I've got really upset. It was new, and I cried <laughs> online. Nobody's ever seen it before. Uh, yeah. Also, it, you watch that VOD on the Patreon if you really want to see Mama Drock. Uh, I couldn't even get over really Usopp. Hate I the fake can't straw hats. get over Usopp. Mama I Drog, just can't even. Mama Drog hates the fake straw hat so much. Oh, those pieces of shit. <laughs> There's some real contempt for the fake straw hats, and I loved it. It was pretty sweary, too. That was a very sweary Mama Drog episode. We did curse a lot. You know, sometimes that's how it is. The two-piece. Yeah, there's a joke in the community of Two Piece. <laughs> Someone made a uh, fake theme song, the Two Piece theme song, and it has all of the fake straw hats. <laughs> yes, I hate them. Someone all right, said, let's do this. Yeah, let's let's do throw this. down. 
Devil Fruit time. Let's go. Let's actually What's the go. What's Devil Fruit I saw if we were doing this in accurate order as I'm uh, going through. If we're doing this in accurate order, Thriller Bark. So the Hara Hara no Mi, the Hollow Hollow Fruit. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, Dragon um, Dragon I is, is Diaz Drake's Ancient Zone, just so people know. Uh, the two piece of I would never openings. want, I would never want the Hollow Hollow Fruit. Um, you don't want to depress people? Great. No, like I can do that anytime I want. I'm a teacher. <laughs> uh, so no, I'm good. Um, but it's still a great fruit, right? But yeah, as a teacher, if I want to depress someone, it happens so easy for me. So it's not really necessary. <laughs> um, I could just assign a essay. Boom, depression. Um, I could tell somebody their essay is bad. Depression. Uh, here we go. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it is a grapefruit, not a grapefruit. <laughs> not a grapefruit. I, I just realized I don't have the Patreon linked in my YouTube bio or Twitch bio, so I'm going to fix that after stream. Okay. I'm going to put Hollow Hollow as a solid B, and I'm going to put it in front of Elephant. Oh, she yacht. Let's just do this first. I think elephant sucks. Uh, we're going to drop elephant. Okay, turning into an elephant's not a cool power? It's now after wax wax. And let me do another thing first. I didn't look at these things. I know this is going to piss somebody off really badly, and I apologize, but <gasps> it is what it is. Um, is. I'm about to move, move wax <gasps> up. Wax wax redemption. Wax, uh, wax He's going up. Time. He's in an A now. He's raising in the ranks. Mr. Three, you earned it. Mr. Three saved Luffy, saved Luffy again, and saved Ace. Ace unsaved himself. You bet. Ace unsaved himself. Luffy and um, <laughs> number three did everything they could. <laughs> Mr. Uh, three stocks three, up, guys. You are now in A. And let me just take a look at this. Am I going to put you in front of slow, slow fruit? Yes, I am. <laughs> am i gonna put slip slip fruit here no i'm not you are going down slip slip fruit we're <gasps> now here in a, b a, near a the mid b tier a mid b tier slip slip damn the the rankings are changing today we're moving the chains and s tier i'm keeping gum gum keeping my flower keeping door door keeping rumble rumble keeping dark dark the Those Rumble are Rumble, where they I are. think you have you have some really good choices. I think most of these are ones people would predict. A lot of people wouldn't think of the door door fruit, I think, when they think of an S tier fruit, but holy fuck, it basically is teleportation. You can get anywhere you want to go. No yeah, wall can stop you. Can, you you can immobilize people okay. with revolving door. It's crazy. I'm gonna move the ox ox fruit down. Okay, I'm adjusted in my seat. I'm comfy. Ox ox fruit down is fair. I mean specifically ox ox model giraffe. Yes. Um, and I'm going to move the sand fruit up. <gasps> That's fair. It's it's a powerful logia. You are now just after wax fruit. Ooh, okay. And I'm going to move the slow, slow fruit down. <gasps> I think I think fair. I think fair and valid. What about the cat cat model leopard? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm going to keep him where he is. All right. Um, uh, I'm by the way, I ran out of stuff chop. to draw, so I'm just going to doodle One Piece stuff. Um, no, I had something I wanted you to draw for me. Yeah, but you forgot. But I could remember. Well, if you remember, I'll start drawing it. We're not going to spend 30 minutes of the stream with you to try to remember. I remember. Uh-huh. I'll get there. Cool, so keep, um, let's keep it going. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I no longer enjoy the slow, slow fruit. Get fair. You're going down to D. And the dog dog uh, fruit? Uh, Talek Gabriel, going we're going to be back to readings next week. Next week, we're going to be doing Return to Sabaody and Fishman Island Part 1. We sure are, and I'm stoked. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> uh, who's next after my oh, hollow hollow? Uh, I'm not going to draw what live action Chopper should look like because he should look like a Muppet. And that's easy to, that that just looks like Chopper. A, a, a Muppet would just be Chopper, but a Muppet. Like, there's nothing. 
Uh, so the Hollow Hollow. Uh, after that would be the Kage Kage no Mi, the Shadow Shadow Fruit. Oh, I remember what it is I wanted you to draw. Oh, okay. I don't know if you're going to want to draw it, though. Tell me, and then I'll make a decision. It it was it was my it was my you're a jerk thing where I wanted Mama Drop to be flipping off double birds. <laughs> hey, can anyone tell me? I don't want to look up Twitch terms of service. Are we allowed to have an emote that flips the middle finger? That feels like something they might not like. Like uh, like if they do want it, if they're you don't think so? <laughs> okay, I don't think they they would don't want right. us to do what it. Apparently, if I was just putting my two hands out, and you knew what it wanted to do. Unless it's very well hidden. Okay, we're, I'm getting a lot of people telling me not to. I think I'm going to not do that one. What if her two little hands were out in front of her and it had blurred birds? Oh, blurred the birds. Blurred the birds could work. Blurred the birds could work. Because then I'm behaving, but not well. Okay, yep. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Look, I know they reject it or they don't, but I don't want to waste my time is the thing. The thing is I don't want to waste my time. Or actual birds on my fingers? Two fists with two little birds sitting on them, Drock? Yeah, no, I saw that one. Oh, we forgot That's the revive, revive fruit. You're right. Sorry, Brooke isn't, uh, Brooke doesn't exist, it turns out. We'll have to add him next time. Okay, well, the Revive Revive Fruit, I've got some feelings about it. Because, yeah, if you did it right, that would be fantastic. But if you did it Brook style... Kind of some consequences. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot the Revive Revive Fruit. Look, guys, I got to be honest about this. I was jamming this together as fast as I could before stream. <laughs> There's going to be a couple missing. Shadow Shadow Fruit. Uh, the Clear Clear Fruit I is here. I hate it, but I understand that it's good. I'm going to put it in... Mm, IB. Yeah. That's where it is for me. Okay. I just, I hate it. High B is fair, I think, for the Shadow Shadow Fruit. Um, anyone else from that stream? Uh, from that arc, the clear, clear fruit. Where is he? Is he invisible? <laughs> He's the fifth one. Oh, there it is. Yeah, should it go in sexist oh. here? Because it's only used for sexism? At the boy. <gasps> the yes, boy, obviously. Bellamy. Clear, clear fruit is super sexist. It's above bubble fruit. Oh, why is dog cam not working? Oh, the webcam disconnected. Well, there's no dog cam, everybody. Uh, let me see if I can fix that. Wow. The dog webcam is broken. Wait. Look at my angry little face. <gasps> there he is. The dog. Dog cam. Oh, baby. Give Bellamy a treat. Because now I don't need to have him hop up on here. I can just give him a treat down there. Who is a good boy? You want to shake a pot? Shake a pot? Do you see that bed, everyone? Yeah, there you go. I gave Bell that mm. bed. Was I think we can leave him down there from now on because we have dog cam. Mims loves you. Oh. Okay, uh, what did we put where? What, where fruit? <laughs> where clear? Did you give him a, Sexist? Did you give him a I did, treat? I did give him a treat. Okay, I put the clear fruit in sexist fruits. Uh, he's a Samoyed. Okay, uh, what's our next one from that land? Any other uh, ones? I don't I think so. I think we might be out of fruits from that land. Oh. Pawpaw fruit, we met Oh, Pawpaw, there. you're right. We did meet Pawpaw there. Oh, you have to drop and give him five. <gasps> I got to go do push-ups. All right. Well, um, this time I'm not switching to pup cam so you can watch me do push-ups because Mama Drock's going to keep working on the tier list. So we leave that on. Yeah. The Pawpaw fruit is an S tier fruit. One. Whoa. Two, why'd you do that? Be an S tier. Four. 
Baby boy. Yeah. You know what? Papa, oh. you're a very cool fruit. You can do some wild uh, ass do, stuff. Do, do, so I'm do. gonna put you all the way up here and be pretty happy about it. There we go. Perfect. I'm back. What? So we move Papa to top tier, but end because I'm not bumping out these ones. Uh, I think that's super valid. Papa is crazy. Um, and then Sabayodi, we now have the. Oh, yeah, Sab. The Sabaudi Archipelago. Uh, we got a bunch of fruits here because we have all of the supernovas, some of whose fruit are unnamed. Uh, and we have the... Uh, by the way, some of the names I added in because they're just not important and Oda like revealed them in SBS saying, oh, I thought you guys knew already. So I've added those names in, even though the SBS where they're revealed is later because they don't matter. Uh, the name doesn't matter. Anyways... Sabbat Archipelago. But we don't know what, I don't know what Bonnie's fruit is called. No, you do not. And I don't know, everyone tells me, so it's obviously very, very important. Uh-huh. But I don't know what the shit it is, who made Bonnie cry, and who she blames. I just don't know. So I don't know what Bonnie's fruit is like, so you know oh. what? Uh, but you do know Moving. it can make people older and younger, including herself. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. It's it's B tier for me right now. All right. Uh, oh, where would you have put Brooks, by the way? Do you want to say that quick? If I had made the tier list correctly and we had Brooks fruit? Brooks fruit is is got a lot of foibles to it as far as like... Yeah, it's that idea of do you want to live forever and then everyone you love dies and you just sit around and have to make new people you love and then you're like, but then they'll die too. Yeah, the answer is um, yes, I'd love to live forever. Where's the where's the pill that do that for me? Yeah, um, but I, I don't want to have like accidents. Like, have you ever seen the movie Death Becomes Her? No. Well, it's a movie that I used to really think was hilarious with Bruce Willis and the goat Meryl Streep and a few other really good actors. And in it, they change their life and they can live forever taking this thing. And then they have accidents, break their legs, can't repair them properly, have to use like screws to screw their bones back up. Like Goldie Hawn, thank you. All these things occur to them. And it always made me think about the idea of living forever. Like be careful what you wish for and what does that look like? So... Right now, I'm going to be level Brooks fruit. Am I glad for Brooke? Does he still have enjoyment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, people the are way saying he's that living he, forever. People are saying he doesn't live forever, that he just got a second lifespan. Maybe that's true if you got back in the living body, but that man drifted around without food for 50 years. Yeah. How does he die, guys? This is what I keep thinking about. Like, now what? Like, How's he, he is as young and youthful and strong as he ever was after drifting around without eating for 50 years. Exactly. Like, I think all he can do is so, drown. I think drowning's all that does it. And even then, I think he would just be in the bottom. Oh my God, you don't even think he'd drown? You think his devil fruit would keep him alive and he would just be unable to move at the bottom of the On ocean? Bottom. Maybe he would just walk his way back out onto a shore. Maybe, people are saying maybe the lifespan of what the soul was. Maybe, maybe. Whoa, that'd be crazy because then Brooke would be dead soon. I mean, not soon. He's only like, no, yeah, soon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, soon. Can you drown without lungs? <laughs> it's flaking someone for saying, can you drown? Because they think it's harassment. <laughs> Fascinating. I find it so okay. funny how often you guys say things that Twitch thinks is harassment that very much isn't and is just asking logistical questions about One Piece. This here, this straw thing, I know nothing about this except for that he turns on straw. And I'm going to be honest with you. Who cares? You don't want to turn into straw? Yeah, I'm putting him on the munch on this. <laughs> In fact, munch on this is higher than him. Yeah, okay. I'm not... I don't know anything about him yet. I've seen him do this thing. He turned into straw. That is all you've seen of him. So I can't, I can't rate this properly until I see some more shit come out of him. Cause right now, no, thank you. 
Do you want to know what could beat this? Everything. Lava. Do you yeah. know that I just went silent staring at the lava and almost got like almost teared up because of this bastard? We're we're skipping Sabaody and we're going right into no, no. Guys, people are saying no, stuff. Do we, guy. guys, you're saying stuff, but is that like knowledge and Sabayote or is that later? Like, guys, come on. No, it's knowledge and Sabayote that counts. Dragon, dragon. It's fine. Better than a horse. Oh, wait, wait. People are saying it is Sabayote. I didn't realize. Uh, we see it when he fights. Uh, you're going to move. You're going to want to move the straw man. I didn't tell you this because I thought we didn't know yet. People are confirming. He had straw dolls that took lethal damage for him. He got hit lethally by Kizaru and his dolls took damage and he didn't. Oh, that's right. I forgot that that was shown early. Never mind, guys. You win. And uh, turns out you're about to move the straw man because he can displace I'm damage. I'm right into the mysterious one then. All right. Um, All right, guys. Castle just because of how freaking cool that is, is going up there. It's a really cool fruit. Like, here's the thing on this, putting this in the last, um, that, that honestly, this isn't necessary. Castle Castle isn't necessarily stronger than the straw man then, but there is something so cool to me about the thinking that comes out of somebody who's like, what if a body was a castle and it was filled with all the things that could actually fight and protect the castle? Come on. Yes. It's a... Uh... It's one of my conceptual favorites. The issue is you do need a lot of like loyal dudes to make it worth anything. <laughs> Can you imagine if in your modern day you got the castle fruit and you were like, hey, who wants to live inside my body as like a hit squad that can just go anywhere? And all your friends are like, I, I have my own I have my own stuff going on actually, actually out here. He had to drink people and put them inside of him. He didn't get a crew that came with the fruit. No, that's his crew. Those are dudes. Those, they shrunk down and live inside of him and have to be small? Yeah. Like, I guess you don't, aren't necessarily supposed to know that. Sorry. But those are, I think it's funny to point out that those are dudes. But that's, that's shit beans. That's a big fart up the nose. Like, those are people. Yeah, but you saw them come out of him and become full size. Yeah, but... They live in, okay. Free rent in this economy. You know what? That's a good point. What? <laughs> you tell somebody you want to live inside my castle body and they say, well, what's the rent? And you go, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not charging. Wow, they live rent free in his head. That's amazing. <laughs> oh my God, uh, that's actually that's true. Never disappoint me in your ridiculous happy jokes. Okay, the last one in here is this one. I don't know what dude's um, actual fruit is. Yeah, you don't know what it's called, He's, but you know that when he endures pain, he gets stronger and stronger and more and more muscly. And I told you, you know what else does that? Weightlifting. Yeah, but not magically. I mean, weightlifting. <laughs> oh my God. Are you telling a rogue to just lift, bro? You know, do you even lift, bro? Like, did you need a devil fruit or could you have just lift the, uh, gone to the gym, Rogue or Rouge, whatever? I feel like Odo was at the gym one day and he's like, you know, I hate how slow getting muscle is. What if it was instant? You just, you feel a little pain and then you're stronger. <laughs> yeah, for me, this is just Apparently like- he's like 10 times stronger. People are saying he already lifts. He lifts and then it makes him even stronger than that. Yeah, he's a C to me. I don't really give a shit about that. That's not interesting to me. It also is not a fruit that'd be like, weird. Yeah. If, you, if you had in real life, wouldn't that be weird to be like, well, I need to be stronger to do something. Punching Fucking tase things. yourself? Yeah. Masochist muscles. Uh, next is Law yeah, and Kid. All, that... people are, all right, people where's are my saying. Law Kid? Uh, you know. Law is seven in? So yeah, you got him. Yeah, so here's what you know that Law can do. Make a bubble, and inside the bubble, he can chop off people's heads, teleport cannonballs, swap them with people's heads, swap people's body parts, and shift people all about. 
That's what you know that he did. I feel like from what I've seen, what law can do is the bubbling that he does puts things into a homeostasis and then he's able to do repairs, be a doctor, whatever, and everything stays frozen in time and he doesn't have to, and that's why he was able to fix Luffy because he creates homeostasis in the bubble and then is able to do things that other doctors wouldn't be able to do. And he uses and that I to swap that... a man's head with a cannonball. Okay. But I think that is freaking cool. Like, e even from be... just what we've seen so far, not really understanding what he's doing, I think his fruit is dope as hell. I agree with you. I think this is the right I'm, uh, placement. S -tiering. I'm yeah. S-tiering up. People are pointing out his... Um, his Red Baron is Surgeon of Death. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's amazing. I don't care. He's so badass. It's re Oh, this person, just as I was saying, such a badass title. That's awesome. Up, up, no me. Uh, I love it. And I love him. And I think he's great. And I don't care if that makes me basic. Uh, no, Boom. Trafalgar Law is, is fucking baller. He's a fucking baller. He's voiced by Matt Mercer for a reason. Yeah, I'm top tiering him. He's awesome. I love him. Uh, okay, oh, wait, wait. Next? I promised that I would say this when we got here. You, I promise I'd do this when we got on the tier list. That is my favorite devil fruit in the series you just placed. Oh, really? If I could have any devil fruit, it would be the op op fruit. The ope ope wow. no me is my, is my number one devil fruit. Wow. Yeah. I, I can't wait to see where this goes then. I for me he's definitely yeah, S tier. The I haven't saintly seen Marco enough. gift in a pile Thank of subs. So Thank you. That's a yeah. Think about think stuff. about how cool it would be to say room shambles and then stuff happens. What great words to say to do your cool shit. <laughs> I better start yeah. learning medicine. No, no, I don't care if I use it badly. It's cool enough that I don't care. <laughs> I'll use my big sword, cut someone really imprecisely, and then replace their hand with a book. And does it matter that I did precise medicine? No, not at all. Wow. I'll be a bad doctor with the op-op fruit. It's that cool. I don't care. Uh, wow. Gum gum's great. It's up there for me. Uh, gum gum would be like my number three or four. It's I love it. <clears throat> but the op-op fruit. Thank you, dog. Dog McGuffins. Um... um I'm not gonna lie. I'm happy with where I put it, and that's how it's staying. It okay. Yeah. Who is next? When did we meet this twinkle twinkle dude? Uh, he was Jozu, one of the uh, fleet commanders of Whitebeard's fleet. Um, he turns into diamond. That's his power. He becomes so diamond. Next snake, then what? Next to snake snake. Yeah, yeah. Both snake snakes. No, one I, that I isn't don't like snake. So her, she's an anaconda. The other one's a cobra. I think. Oh, magnet, magnet. You forgot the magnet, magnet. Never mind. What? Magnet, magnet fruit. Oh, the GQ, we? GQ oh, no me. Oh, this one. I hate this guy. You can hate the guy. You can hate the kid. But do you hate the game? By which I mean magnets? It's better than Berry Berry. That's all I'll say about this. <laughs> it's better than turning into balls. You know, shit, Balls is now a munch on this. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. He does, he does just turn into Balls. Balls. I can't think of a devil fruit I would less want to have oh. than turn into Balls, honestly. Oh, my God. Can I ask, can I ask a question? Uh-huh. Is the big-headed girl the anaconda? Yes. And then her sister's got a big butt? Well, her sister's got big everything, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, balls is the shitty chop-chop fruit. <laughs> it's a chop-chop fruit, but when you separate, you're balls. Listen to me right now. I cannot even stand that the man just made one beam. <laughs> My anaconda don't get sprung unless she's got buns, hon. All right. It's like, seriously, it feels like a joke right out in the world like that. Oh my God, that's hilarious. 
I like big butts. Possibly Isaacs is saying balls is such a funny fruit. I love it so much. I can't. I can't bring myself to love balls. I can't turn into balls and be like, what a no. great power. I've turned into balls. I am, making, I am making both of the snakes be down here. I just don't like them at all, but I do like the joke. And if it was on purpose and he liked big butts and he cannot lie and he made one sister be the anaconda and one be the other, I think that would be hilarious. But honestly, to be fair, I really don't like them. Yeah. Um, and the love, love fruit. I hate how it was used against her. Uh, yes, yes, apps, yes. Anaconda, big butt. Come on, not balls. Um, love, love fruit. Ugh. Turn people to stone. It's very powerful. Like it's so powerful and so cool in that way and you turn people into stone but there's so much about it that's problematic yeah it is eight it's eight here valid fair um and now oh we didn't do tone tone before oh we missed the tone tone fruit battle music music is kind of cool like i haven't seen it do much yet though so i can't really I can't really I mean, rate it accurately. You saw him, like, turn his arm into an instrument, play it, and cut Kizaru's head off, and Kizaru went, yo, dude, what? Yeah, I'm going to put it here. It's here for me. I like it more than I like that weird straw thing, even though this is one of my favorite dudes right here. I do yeah, like you like the I... dude more, but the fruit, which is funny. Yeah. I think I'm the opposite there, where I like Apu more, but I like Hawkins fruit better. Fantastic. That's an interesting thing. Yeah. Um, then once we're done being on Amazon Lily, we go here. Snip, snip fruit. Is that what I see first? I think. Where's. Is that it? I only saw two new fruits inside Impel um, Down. Uh, Impel Down, we saw. Snip, snip, and hormone, hormone. Holderu, holderu, and choky, choky. I think possibly. Oh, we forgot the light, light fruit. Let's get the light, light fruit. That was from Sabayoti. Oh, I did forget. Light, light Oh, Venom and Venom, awesome. Venom is an impel down. That's true. We also saw the Awakened Zoans, but I didn't include them because I forgot to. But honestly, I, I need to pitch something to you guys. I don't think Koala's making it that high. I'm going to put light, light fruit in A above Castle Castle until I see more from it. Okay. Like, was his entrance the greatest thing in the history of ever? Yep. He can do a light speed kick. Light speed kick. This is one I would definitely do at the top, just because light is fucking insane. Yeah, like, here. like, like, but light. I don't know enough about him yet to move him to a good place. Fair. Light for me would be like one step below lightning, as far as the coolest logia. Uh, I don't think lightning should be up this far anymore. <gasps> really? See, yeah. when I think of lightning, I think of like nearly as much offensive power as lava and nearly as much mobility as light. You put those together and that's insane. Yeah, I don't know. All right. You know what? This is My your tier list, not mine. Like Screw him. Screw this lava dude to hell. I want to Good make night, a new dark. tier for him called Luffy, or called Ace Killer. Die in a, your own personal hell. <laughs> we're, we're skipping ahead just to do that. We're skipping like several arcs ahead just so that you can make the Ace Killer tier. Oh, what? Where'd you go? Oh, there. Never mind. They <laughs> just. Okay. <laughs> this is fruit, not characters. Here, cog, cognum, cog, cognum machine. Clearly you don't know how Mama Drock does tier lists. The drip tier list had to have two characters sit in a tier that the entire point was, the drip is fine, but I hate you. So she refused to acknowledge them, but she also was just like, look, you have to be in the absolute shit thing. Uh, she actually hasn't started reading Fishman Island yet because she's been busy. It's been report card week. I'm still in, I, I am at a weird point though. Hey, wait, wait, someone raises a good point. Does Ace get moved to the Ace Killer tier? Is he unsaved himself? 
Oh, you people. Well, I mean. Oh. I mean, technically, Ace killed himself. Yep, that punch was aimed at Luffy and Ace jumped into it. No. No. That's not it. We're doing fruit here, not people. Re okay. So the, f but the fruit oh, is an ace yes. killer. You're right. Feel shame. You're not wrong that the fruit did kill ace. <laughs> okay. The, the censored mama, I think is going to be fine. And it's very good actually. There. What do you think? An awesome, powerful fruit, but you killed Ace. <laughs> Ace killer. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> it's a great. Tier. It's a great tier. <laughs> wow, the the powerful tier. Huh, I think that's a fair area for it to be. Yeah, I feel good about it. Megma is of yeah. absolutely okay. busted power. We were talking about this earlier today, actually, how when we watched the Impel Down video, Mama was like, oh my God, we've never seen anything as terrifying as the poison fruit. And then I, I was like, so did you feel like that got one up to literally the next arc? And she was like, oh, absolutely. Like, you feel like the poison fruit's the most terrifying that you, can, you could ever experience. And then you get Megma immediately after, and it's fucking insane. That's exactly what happened. I was like, I have just met the strongest fruit. Oh, nope. Nope. This man is made of lava. Um, so speaking on that, uh, Venom Venom, top tier. Yeah, fair. Look, the, the thing is, definitely, whoa. The thing is, this one, definitely. Uh, you go first and I'll, I'll say my thing. I'm putting him in front of the Rumble Rumble. Here's why. Ooh, okay. Nothing is safe from Venom. Yeah. Luffy was safe from Rumble Rumble. Uh, I mean, I, something that I think makes it a really high tier fruit also is just that a lot of these fruits you imagine, okay, if I didn't want to live a life of combat and adventure, would they be helpful? And this is a combat adventure one, sure, but it also makes you immune to all poison as a side effect. Like a side effect of this fruit is immunity to all poison. I also wonder because you were like, he eats things that's poison because he can, blah, blah, blah. And then that whole conversation. But I also wonder, like, isn't the inside of his mouth poison? So then by just naturally when he chews something, it becomes poisonous? Maybe, but I think he can choose to turn it off. I can't think of any Logia that would be safe from... I mean, if they stayed oh. purely in their elemental form, maybe. But if they turn into a dude for like a second to punch you or whatever, Venom. Even if they're in their form for three and a half seconds, he poisons them. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. And also, ooh, as Celio pointed out, the fact that his farts actually gas people. Yep. Yeah. He doesn't even have to do anything. He can have a silent but deadly, and it yeah. literally is deadly. Yeah, no, this, Magellan's fruit is fucked. It's, it's wild. Okay, the snip snip fruit is, I didn't think it was going to be that great. When I first saw what it was, I was like, that's not all that great. Um, but it was. It's, uh, it's, uh, why aren't you moving? Move. I'm going to go snip snip is in front of ice ice for me. It really, you rate Logia's lower on average than most people, I think. Interesting. It's still like very, very like, high, obviously, but like, because they're great. But like most people, their top is full of Logias, basically exclusively. I just really feel like, did you watch that person cut the stairs and turn them into an accordion staircase of spiral? Like yeah. everything. Snap, cut a boat in half. Cut an any, like the things you could do with this, I would. It's, it's kind of like if the door door fruit had more offensive potential. But yes, but no teleportation. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's, totally. 
like the lack of teleportation i think is a big thing that makes the door door fruit better for me but the door door fruit can't like rip things apart yeah exactly i love the freaking snip snip fruit i think choki choki is so fun so practical and so deadly yep Hormone Hormone for me is top, top tier. It's a very, um, very powerful ability. The shit you can do with this, Hormone Hormone takes Rumble Rumble. Okay, I think that's, you know what? Oh, I don't even hormone, know which one I'd put higher. It's very Benny. good. Because if Hormone Hormone... <laughs> Someone needs hormone, a rock hormone. rock and paper paper fruit. Yes. Would Hormone defeat Venom? I mean, we saw that in the I, series. I, yeah. We saw that Hormone can defeat Venom, not in battle, but can defeat the after effects with severe drawbacks. Exactly. Like Venom, Venom is so powerful that like, <clears throat> even the Hormone Hormone fruit that can rewrite the body, only after the fact can fight it. And I'm also gonna put Hormone Hormone in front of this because hormones can do things like give diseases, yep. um, grow parts of your body in a bad way. So honestly, if she was given the right circumstances, she could turn Yami Yami Man into a very, very sad boy. Yep. Hormones control every aspect of your life. Uh, and therefore, Horu Haru is number one for me now. Fair. It's a very, very good fruit. Give someone cancer. Yeah. Uh, you walk away and you think you're good. And enjoy. <laughs> I've given um, you a genetic condition that you can never repair. Holy shit, there are some good ass fruits that have been happening because these, this twinkle twinkle shit, whatever. Look, <laughs> turning into diamonds doesn't even get to be high tier. Your standards are raised so high. Like, I think twinkle twinkle is C. I'll put it I, in front of like. Are you a dog. rating it lowly no. just because its name is twinkle twinkle? No. I feel like there's some name bias in the low ranking of twinkle twinkle. Fine. Kira Kira. <laughs> all right <laughs> it it's very high defense but it also feels like what do you do when you're dying what like what do you do he does block a mihawk please slash me, that's cool tell me why you'd want this shit oh you can't hurt me yeah oh now i'm very heavy ow yeah i mean it is just defense yeah people are right i mean you can punch harder without hurting your hand if you are made of diamond like you don't have to worry about your hand getting hurt the thing is, is that for me that I, I a lot of times i do all of my fruits based off on how much did they interest me narratively you know what that's fair it's how much you like thinking about it how cool they are how powerful they are like there's a lot of different things to you consider can. and i yeah, feel the I same way of like I don't like thinking about turning into diamond. It's like kind of whatever. It's similar to the turning into blades fruit. Of, can you show the picture of me with birds on my hands? I want to see it. Yeah, I can do that. Let's switch over. Whoop. Cut your hair and sell it, but you can't cut your hair. <laughs> you can't cut oh my God. That is delight. Tell me that's not delight. Uh, and then we also have this one. <laughs> Kaido does need an emote. We need an emote for Kaido. Oh, that's stunning. The Kaido's emote should be a panicked Nola. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna work on a panicked Nola for the for now. Okay. Um, I've told you how I feel about the human human fruit of. Yeah, the human-human fruit model Buddha. I don't love it, but I understand that it's powerful. I'm putting it here in an A tier at the yeah, end because of my lack of love. You don't like me. it. No. It's at the end of an A tier. It's my recognition that it's a good fruit, but not my thing. Tweet, tweet. Dude is a freaking phoenix yeah. bite my ass phoenix is, awesome. phoenix is cool phoenix is a cool cool fruit that's it's rad um i gotta do him slowly because it takes a while to get up here but i'm putting it here in front of rumble rumble because he regens i love him good uh, job marco great great question what about the pocket pocket fruit um, you see it used for like one panel and uh, that's even less than the balls got and I didn't feel like including it. Oh, no thanks. 
No thanks and to what? And then the quick, quick, no thanks, I don't feel like talking about it. Yeah. And then the quick, quick fruit, I'm going to put, that's hard. Yeah, I'm the thing is, up. very destructively powerful. What do you do with that? I'm going to put them under that. Under that. Uh, under we did that. Rust Rust last time. Under that. I hate Rust Rust. Did I move it? I meant to. There. That's quite quick for me. But wait a minute. I'm going to find you Rust Rust because I there you are. You know what, Rust Rust? You're meh. There. Narratively meh is what I should call that tier. Munch on this or narratively. Yeah, I, I know. I see that. It's I put him up here nice and high. He's up here. Quick, quick. Uh, Kaido, how do you feel about a panic Nola? Because what I was thinking of is this is one to use when Mama starts going off in a prediction and it seems like it's going to be a lot of work to moderate what's being said. Okay. This is the final look at the tears for all of Damn. the different double fruit. My very favorite tier is an awesome, powerful fruit, but you killed Ace. Ace killer. Yeah. Comfortable. What is this? Oh, I love this one. Oh, I'm so excited. <gasps> it's islands. Um, Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in so we can see the islands. I'm so excited. Uh -huh. I gotta... There. Can you guys see everything now? There. Is it good? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. <sighs> Bum, ba -da, ba -da. Oh, I forgot the old lady with the laundry fruit. You're right. Uh, hey, how do you feel about washing the bat out of people? All right, moving on. <laughs> okay. Um, let me think. So uh, can we just address our tiers real quick? Read through our tiers that we have so people know what we're where we're putting these. Why did this G go over here? Disappointing. Good. I don't know. It wasn't before, but <laughs> I'll, fix, I'll fix that for us. Yeah, poor what's her name? Tsuru. Lady Tsuru. Um she washes people. Look. Look, guys, if I were to do a Devil Fruit tier list, it would also be on, on the criteria of, like, how much I enjoy thinking about it is is kind of my ranking. Because uh, you want to rank, like, how good they are? Well, it depends. Do you want to be an adventurer? Do you want to lead a kingdom? Do you want to, like, be getting pirate punch battles? Do the fucking what's a good fruit depends all on that. So I would rather rank on what I find interesting. And washing people, like laundry is not a fruit I've ever thought a lot about, like, excitedly, you know? So I forgot it. I think that I made my feelings clear on that. Yeah. Washing. Lady Tsuru, we found a devil fruit. Do you know what it does? I am a powerful vice admiral in the Marines, so I should get a good one. Well, we don't know what it is, but it's a devil fruit. Do you want it? I'll, I'll risk it. Oh, it's laundry. It's my power is laundry. And if you can wash the bat out of people, then why aren't they just washing the bat out of people instead of then putting them into L impel down? Honestly, it feels like a story misstep. I mean, probably because they have a punishment based justice system instead of a rehabilitation based justice system. No, I think that if you can wash the bat out of people and you choose not to, no, no, you just literally, I think you. that's actually intentional commentary because, uh, in real life, basically every study shows that if your justice system is based on rehabilitation, you end up with a lower crime rate. Yet most countries don't do that because it doesn't feel right to not punish bad guys. All right, whatever. Here we go. Um, what's our first one? Syrup Island. Okay, I think Syrup Island sucks as an arc, but I think it's a beautiful, lovely little place. Yeah, it's just a cute little village. They... Remember, no shipyard. That was live action only. Um, I think it's a lovely little village. Beautiful island. Let me visit. I like that. I think, I think that. Where was Rasukena? 
Was that the one where he learns how to be a better him? Uh, yes, that's uh, where Luffy did his training, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm not doing that yet. Drum Island is a lovely little island that I want to visit a little less because I'm not really into the cold. I have to spend way too much time in the cold over the years. <clears throat> um, Orange Town. Uh, Orange Town was... It, it wasn't great. What's it what's left great. there, do you figure? Like, like the fucking dog, the pet store is destroyed. What what do we have in Orange Town these days? <laughs> That's my question. <laughs> it had Choo Choo. I, if I was somewhere around, I'd be like, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll swing by, I guess. <laughs> Goa Kingdom looked nice if I was in the area, but it was filled with douche buckets. Yeah, um, I mean, Goa Kingdom, like, you have Luffy's little ta uh, town where, what do you go? There's a bar, and then otherwise, there's the rich town I can't afford to be in, and then there's a junkyard. That's what you have. Um, yeah. Little Garden? I would love to visit well guarded by people. Mm-hmm. It would be a good place as long as you have an escort that can protect you from dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah like, Orange am town? I gonna have... I feel like am I have there with to... Luffy? Sorry, you go, and then I'll answer Miguel. So am I here with Luffy, and Luffy is helping to keep me alive? Because I'm not going to lie. Yes, and the bugs? Holy shit. Oh, Nami got an ancient disease and nearly died. Yeah. That's a freaky-ass place. Oh. Annie's Lobby. Here's my problem I've discovered. Like, I kind of want to go to North Korea. And, um... I feel the same way. shitty. Yeah. yeah, and so as far as, like, cute island if I'm in the area, it would be more like, I'm curious. Well, I So I'm going to make a new one. Bad, but I'll go there anyways. Um, I'm going to add a row below. And then I'm going to get out of here. Then I'm going to put in the new one. Um... I'm going to give it the old gray tone and I'm going to call it. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, um, I feel like we have to be judging to answer a question earlier. We have to be judging Orange Town post Buggy Ball because we didn't see it pre Buggy Ball, really. I think it's after everything happened because like there, there's like what a day in between them showing up and the Buggy Ball we see fired. So no, it's post Luffy leaving when everything's destroyed and it's just a bunch of people trying to rebuild their houses. I, I don't want to visit that. No. So, so I put in this is not good, but I'm interested anyway. <laughs> all right i like this okay so in that one guys i am going guys to... i have to tell you there are good places that have a dog you don't have to go to an island that was shot by it like a weapon of mass destruction to see a dog i'm sorry you keep going i just needed to tell chat that i didn't think they knew that i'm gonna put tequila i'm gonna put tequila wolf uh -huh. and this is not good but I'm interested anyway. <laughs> you would visit Tequila Wolf? <laughs> yeah, like I'm I'm not thrilled about it. It's not good. People are like, but, but those dogs like aren't Choo Choo. Guys, Choo Choo doesn't know you. Get out of here. Choo Choo doesn't know um, you. Let's see, where else? What is more Alabasta? Uh, I am uh, not as bad as your dad. Papa Drock, he hates himself some places where he can't see his water source. Yeah, that, that man gets anxious without water. He gets all like, we can't stay here long. Push through. There's no water. You should have seen him in uh, Joshua Tree. <laughs> Death Valley. That was fascinating. Uh, so, but I'm going to put me in Alabasta is beautiful and I'd yeah. like to visit. I'd yeah. like to visit a little garden. Yeah, these are all after Luffy's been here. I think we need to judge that all of these are post-Luffy, which means when we reach Annie's lobby, that's a difficult proposition. Um, trying to do it in the right order. 
Tequila Wolf is like the Panama Canal. Down. A lot of people died making you it, but it's still an impressive feat of engineering. That's true. Sorry, what? I already should have done Logue Town. Uh, well, we're, we're not yeah. doing them in order of the story. We're just doing them as they show up here. This what? is Logue Town for me. Amazing Island. Let me stay there. Yeah, I agree. I could spend a few months just hanging out in Logue Town. There's, it looks like there's nice markets. Uh, very pretty. The architecture is beautiful. Lots to do. Look like there was interesting people. Yeah. It seemed to be the hub of action, so it's not just boring. You would go there and you'd have stuff. Yeah, it seems like it's kind of the the main happening area in the East Blue. Yeah, I would agree. Good sword shop. Yep, good point. Good sword store. Yeah. No. Uh, the cannon I mean, filler that Oda helped write indicates that there's chef competitions and that the food there uh is made with a special salt caused by the uh, all the salt air salt water kicked up um by reverse mountain so the roofs are oh. caked in salt and they harvest it and it tastes really nice and seasons their food special okay i love that yeah amazon lily i'm a girl i would stay there for a long time i gotta be honest i feel like how good amazon lily is really depends on if it's a man or a woman making this list because i have to tell you would i have a great time there yeah it seems beautiful i'd love to hang out with everybody they'd kill me they'd they, if i yeah. could not be killed would love to hang out talk to everybody get to know yeah. people i would be yeah. murdered <laughs> i would very very much like to visit there and stay for a while oh you thought that was lovely. water seven the salt was post any's lobby filler i got it confused there was a chef competition though that's how uh sanji got a special thing um that part was true Here, but the uh, the special was, salt was post uh, any's lobby you guys have corrected me correctly i was wrong where was konomi uh oh that's one of the training islands right which one is it i need everyone's help oh nami's town no konami is the one that has nami's town in arlong park they have beautiful rice fields yeah a lot of poverty huh <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's it is post luffy so at the very least there's not like evil fish man ruling it but like the infrastructure is not in a good way no thank you like guys think Maybe about this another 50 years think about this <laughs> all of the wealth of that island got put into one building that luffy just broke and lots of places have oranges without all the destruction. Any's Lobby, yeah. that's another one that is not good, but I'm willing to look at it. Yeah, I'd I'd hang out. <laughs> I'd go there. They're not in a good way, guys. They had all of their wealth taken, put in a single building, and then a rubber man broke yeah. that one building. Frostfire? I, oh, I she left her one million stash. Yeah. They'll probably rebuild it soon. I still think for a while I don't want to go there. I don't want to go to Florida either. <laughs> <laughs> Nami gave them their money. It's true. They will rebuild. However, yeah, years they're they're busy. They don't need me right now. Yeah. Monkey Peak is a please no thanks. I'm not interested in a place that's just one big like graveyard. Uh, it's a bunch of graveyards and a trap for pirates. It's <laughs> what Dude, now that Baroque Works Florida? is gone. What are they doing for business? Are they still trapping pirates, but just independently? The, did you see this, Griff Gatsu? As someone from Florida, stay far away. I <laughs> uh, don't. Don't worry. Um, Cricket, our editor, is also from Florida and has given me similar review. <clears throat> no thanks. No thanks on the um, Whiskey Peak. I was never really into it. Now, Water 7... Um, Holy shit, right? Is, I would live there. If it wasn't for the Agua Laguna, perfect. I would still live there. Oh, me too. I would be a part of the... Everyone survives it, mostly. Hey, I would be help... Uh, uh, some of the people were helping to revive it, and I would be right in with the my ice friend Yeah. Um, with turning it into an island that floats. <clears throat> they... They ha there was a lot of damage from the recent Agua Laguna, but it's not like untenable. Like, and they they have the industry and uh, infrastructure to rebuild better. Like, Water just, Seven's perfect. So cool. Water Seven's beautiful. And if we're talking about areas within One Piece that you're going to want to live, like, how could you not want to look at this thumbnail? Water Seven rocks, and, and I love Venice. Every time I've gone to Venice, I've said to myself, like, damn, I would love to live here for a year, even just like live there hang out 
and then uh, leave. So yeah, I'd live there. All right, I like it. I think I feel the exact. I think so far our reviews would be very similar. I would have dropped Little Garden because like, just because I don't want ancient disease. Drop. Dinosaurs. Look, no, you're right. Dinosaurs are worth maybe dying. Dinosaur, you're right. <laughs> dinosaurs you're right i take it back (laughs) honestly that's a good argument that's my whole argument (laughs) Uh, what more do you need (laughs) you sold me (laughs) yep i'm not saying i'd stay long but i'd certainly be happy to go yeah no i think so far our lists would look very very similar okay um can we rank the straw hat themes yes we absolutely can we talked about it this time Marine Ford, it is not good. It's it's post Luffy, so it's very not good. Like this is a military base uh, where people used to live. Like they used to have uh, the families of Marines here, and they moved them out for the battle. Good fucking mm-hmm. thing they did. Blackbeard did a fucking number on that place, huh? So I still want to visit it. I want to lay out some flowers for Whitebeard and Ace. And Mm -hmm. I want to look at the destruction that occurred. And then I want a GTFO. Yeah. You're a civilian. So it's not like, like they, it's probably one of those things where you can do just a tour of the civilian areas and just show up and see it. Ring the bell. Yeah. A certain number of times. I don't know if you're allowed to ring the bell. You can try to ring the bell. I don't know if they'll let you. Um, long ring, long land is something that I'd want to see if I was in the area. It freaks me out a little bit. The animals are not cute. <laughs> the animals look upsetting. They, they disturb me. <laughs> I, I feel like visiting Marineford would be like visiting a former Nazi concentration camp, Kaido says. <laughs> Maybe. It might be a similar vibe, honestly. <clears throat> Who's left at Thriller Bark now, post Luffy? Uh, who's left at Thriller Bark? I'm not happy about it either. Who's Uh, left? Who's left is, well, Moria did, was still living there, but then he left to go to Marineford and got nearly assassinated. So we don't, he might've gotten back there. We don't know. Dr. Hogback, a bunch of zombie, no wait, the zombies are all dead. Um, Perona's gone. It's like Dr. Hogback, Absalom, and Moria, maybe. Maybe those three dudes is who's left there. (laughs) Thank you. It's one of, can, can I just say, it's one of the only like pl- islands that Luffy shows up to. And when he leaves, it's kind of a less chill place to be. Because now instead of like cool zombie island where there's people and you could maybe even join up. It's like, oh, literally all that's here is three sad men <laughs> and a bunch yeah, of no, corpses. <clears throat> uh, Skypea for me is a super island and I would live there. Fair. Reasonable. Uh, and imagine too, if you could go to the area that was pushed up, and and like kind of hang out and see the way it's being built. And uh, is oh, Upper Yard its own island. island on the list? Pardon? Is Upper Yard its own island, or are they being counted together? Uh, scroll down. They're together. Oh, they're together. They're together. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Shell's Town. What is this from? Uh. Oh, Shellstown. Okay, it's where they met Zoro. It's where Luffy met Zoro. Right. That's just like a normal it place. Is, uh, it just seems like a like a normal little town now that Captain Morgan's gone, it just right? It like a little normal town. Yeah. I would visit it even before Syrup Village. It had more to do in it. Yeah, it, it's like a bigger town. They've, they've got like live action, gave it a nice bar. I mean, the, no, the bar was already there. Yeah, there's a nice bar. Like, yeah. Yeah. Such a good place. Savayoti? Oh... Sabayote is a hard one. Well, okay, so on one hand, let's list the good stuff. Theme park, right? Let me tell you why I want to go there. Bubbles? Big I'm trees? I want to ride a bubble so bad, I can't even tell you. You ride bubbles, you got big trees, you got a theme park, slavery, so cool the world food. oppressors, slave auctions. So cool. But then, after the bubble and Shaki's bar. But Shaki's like, bar. Did we mention that it's right next to the pieces of shit? And that and they that show up there trafficking? and that they, Human and that if they like you, they will steal you and you can't say anything about it. Yeah. You know what? F this shit. No, thank you. But the theme park. 
But you know what, Drock? You know what's hard to visit is a theme park when you've been stolen and sold at the auction house. Yeah. Like, do I want to go to it? You betcha. Do I want to hang out? Am I guaranteed to hang out with Rayleigh? If not, no thank you. Am I with Rayleigh doing like a fun, fun theme park? Oh, and pub crawl? Yeah, thank you. Then we're there. Okay. I feel like even though they're married, Rayleigh's a character you can, anyone can imagine themselves hooking up with too, because Shaki and Rayleigh to me couldn't have more, we noticed you from across the room and really like your vibe as a couple energy. <laughs> Throwing that out there for everybody. Um, uh, I think I'd still visit. I think I'd still go there and risk being stolen by the world nobles. There's a theme park and I can jump on a bubble. People are agreeing with me on this, by the way. Are you there? I'm busy. What are you busy with? Okay, literally everybody's agreeing that I'm right about the vibe. I'm glad. Oh, wait. Yeah, actually, can a mod get a get a uh, poll going? Would you risk going to Sabayoti to hang with, the, uh, to go to Shaki's ripoff bar, hop on the bubbles, go to the theme park at the possible risk of being stolen into slavery? <laughs> we need a poll. We need a poll to see who's going to Sabayoti with me and who's staying with Mama Drock and not going to Slavery Island. Jolly D. Roger, I'm not hot enough to get stolen. <laughs> Prince Ariana, no thank you with my luck. Yes, I'm ugly, it's good. <laughs> only with Rayleigh. I feel like only with Rayleigh we can add up as a no vote because, like, that means you're only going if you're guaranteed safety, so you're not risking it. So, I put only with Rayleigh as a category. No, no, that's what I'm saying. I, I just think at the end, if we count if more people would or wouldn't risk it, that we count that as people who wouldn't risk it. That's my category. <laughs> because honestly, <gasps> if I'm with Rayleigh, I'm going. I'm going and I'm happy and I'm thrilled and I'm doing it and I'm like, oh my God, I love this place. And Rayleigh's like, I don't want to go to the theme park. And I'm like, shut up. Yes, you do. <laughs> Come on, Rayleigh. <laughs> I'm absolutely going and I'm like, I probably won't get taken into slavery. I hope that's, I hope that's how this plays out. Dude, you're adorable. You'd get stolen for sure. It's very um, possible. It's very possible I will, but maybe I'll just go to a fun theme park and ride on a bubble. I really want to ride on a bubble. Oh no, Mount okay. Mash Tree. Island of Rare Animals? Yeah, hang out with Gaimon in a box. <laughs> it is worth noting, there are two people in this island right now, and they both live in a box. I'm going to put Island of Rare Animals on it. It's beautiful, and I'd like to visit it even more than Syrup Village, because it's weird, and I love me some weird animals. Mixed Mothman's not cute enough to worry about being traffic. Oh, no. It's a lot of people oh, with that Hara? answer. I think you're all probably Hara beautiful. put on here? Yeah, I mean, visit our lovely sites. The burnt out ruins of a tree, a lake we threw books into, rubble. We're going to go to Arhara. Okay. You did predict that. Impel down? <laughs> oh, Are you God. kidding my face? That's a no thank you for me. Honestly, honestly, I agree with you that I want to go to a lot of bad places and I wouldn't even go there. <laughs> no. Like, that's not the kind of bad that I'm curious about. I don't want to see the torture pits. No, thank you. <laughs> I do not. If, if I could be imported to 5.5, yeah. Yeah, but it's really hard to guarantee you get to go to 5.5. Yeah, exactly. Jaya, you betcha. It's amazing. I'd stay there for a little while. I'd hang out. I, would you want to hang out in, in Mock Town or would you go just hang out with Cricket and be like, hey, what's going on, old man? Wait, Cricket left. I would go into the town, but then I'd also 
Oh my God, it was shared 44-44. Yeah, however, I will say because of, because percent. because eleven percent of people also said they just wouldn't go. I definitely think there's a higher percentage of people who just would not go unless they had protection. Yeah, I would definitely go to Sabaody. It's not a smart decision, but I could ride on a bubble. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I would be sad about not visiting it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Baltigo, is that where what's the? Uh, that's where the Revolutionary Army lives, and otherwise, it just looks like it's made yeah. of white rock with like honeycomb patterns in it. Well, here's the problem. It's not cute. No. I still want to go. It's not great, but I'll go. Look, if I'm in the One Piece world, I'd join up with the revolutionaries. They seem like they got a good cause. They do. Yeah. Uh, Era Curry, it's, and if I'm in the area, I, again, snow, I'm Canadian. Yeah, um, but there's also cyborgs. Yeah, I'm, I'm Canadian. I've, I've had a lot of snow. Um, where was this one? Is that where? Um, Scroll down. I can't see was? it. Uh, Lulucia. 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 This is uh, one of the cover story islands I asked to be included. This is from Ace's cover story. He meets a milkmaid there. He punches a doctor and he gets thrown in a river. It's just a nice little kingdom that seems to have like a dairy industry. Okay, well, if I'm in the area, I'll go to that. Okay. And is Memoria or Memoro, is that where the women were who made... Um, um, that's uh, Iva's Island, yeah. I love it, and I would stay there for a while. Mm -hmm. The moon, I would definitely like to live on for a while. Because that would just be so damn cool. Imagine living on the moon for a while. Just imagine it. Take a moment. Think about it. Imagine seeing all the cool things that are apparently there, like, I don't know, full panels of script. Yeah. Yeah. I'd live there. Moon is um, an interesting I thing to call an here. island. You so care? Moon is the other cover story location I asked to be included, because while not an island, it feels like it should be on the list. Not if it was made out of cheese, no. I would also go to Rusukiana. Um, you wouldn't. The island, the animals are too big. They're scary. I likes them. They're so big. They were just, they were just babies. <laughs> We'd be good friends. <laughs> oh no. Um, is Boyne Archipelago where he trained? Uh, that's where Usopp trained. Yeah. I did not like that, and I please you, no thank you. You don't want a bunch of edible plants everywhere, but also the islands are giant plants who eat you. I don't want to be eaten. I'm a, I'm a no thank you. Okay, weird, weird choice, but all right. Yeah, I did not. I did not like the getting eaten. <laughs> it's dumb. Um, where was this one that looks like I'm in the Nightmare Before Christmas? The I'm, I Oregana? think that is uh, the island with the monkeys, Mihawk Island, right? Zoro, yeah. Ah. Uh, so currently, oh, Mihawk Island, and so, it looks like the picture is the Nightmare Before yeah. Christmas. So Zoro, area where Jack Skeleton stood. So Zoro has just left. So this is an island where the only inhabitants are a bunch of monkeys, Mihawk, and Perona. I'll visit. Yeah, no, I'd hang out. Yeah. And then um, Namakura, who was there? Oh, that's where Brooke got summoned by Satanists. Oh, I don't know much about the rest of the island, but, you know, I'll visit if I'm in the area. Okay. And um, Shimotsuki Island is where our Zoro was raised? Yes, Shimotsuki. It looked beautiful. I'd visit for a longer time. Yeah, they, they got swords there. Visit. Got sword I'd visit. I'd visit before I'd visit Alabasta. No, I wouldn't. And I want to see dinosaurs more. So I'm moving you here. Yes, I'm staying there. I'm happy with that. Nice. Um, and well, then Torino Kingdom is where we had our great boy go with the burb. Yeah, that's Chopper learning how to medicine. Um, hanging with burbs. 
Um, Burned up. Yeah. So I looked amazing and I loved it and I would go there that much. And Weatheria, I already am pissed off that I'm not there. <laughs> That's it. There. This is what it looks like for me for the islands that we've been to so far. That's like that's quite a few islands that we've been to so far. Yeah. We we've seen a lot yeah. of the world. A couple of them are just from cover stories, but you know, we've seen quite a bit. We're world seers. I mean, you're over halfway through the series now. Mirrorball Island is missing. <gasps> Which one's that again? Hmm. Um, oh, and thank you so much. Uh, I forget the name on Discord. You are Don Groot for making this. I love it. That's the Dance Off Island. And what about the island oh. where people go to when they're on vacation? Oh, yeah, the vacate. <laughs> Do we get a name of that one? Vacation Island. Yeah. Uh, you the know idea what? is on there, Dusty Finger. It's right there at the top, being so cool. You know what? Vacay Island. I would go there for a vacation, just in case you couldn't figure that out. I feel like I feel like that makes sense as a choice. Skype is on there. Yep. Yeah. All right. Are we ready for the final one, which is the villains? Here we whoa. <gasps> Here we whoa. It's a, That's lot, a of lot. Them. It's a lot of them. We ready? I think we can shotgun a lot of these guys. So I think we got to set up. Are we ranking them on how good they are as a villain? Like how good of a character they are? Are we on a like how yes. much we like them? Because that's different. No. And, okay. Because there no. are characters who I like as villains. Like I like Crocodile, even though I hate him and he's a bastard. He's so fun. Crocodile's actually become quite great. Yeah. So. I don't know if that's a permanent thing, but for me right now, Crocodile is great. All right, so let's start with the first one, which is Higuma the Bandit. Higuma the Bear, Mountain Bandit, being like, hi. He's D he's like, and I'm marking these on how, t how tough and how difficult they are, not on how much they suck. Okay. Um, you, wait, you're ranking them on strength, not on, like, as characters? I was thinking of marking them up on like how good of a violent bandity bad person they are okay so like not all by how strong but like how good they are at being a bad guy yeah all right so is that not how you saw it how no, did no, you see I, it? you can rank these all sorts of ways i was gonna do on just how much i like them because there are villains i like like blackbeard crocodile uh lucci and no, I like how evil they are. Okay, so this is on how this is how villainous they are. All right, Higuma the Mountain Bandit um, strolls into town, knocks over some drinks, and kidnaps a child. Yeah, he is number two. Damn, he's he's. Um, Helmepo is friend. Helmepo <laughs> is friend. <laughs> um, his daddy is a two. All right, pretty evil. Um, this chick is not that evil anymore. I'm marking them where we are now. What do you give up on? Apparently the, oh, never mind. Okay. Uh, Need to change the tier. Last tier is fr friend. Friend. Yeah, the last tier is friend. And that's why I'm putting everybody who's friend in friend. <laughs> so anyone who's a friend instead of a foe, so this is the current rankings, in your opinion, of how much evil they manage to have. I gotcha. So this is an he evilness is, chart. Um, is Alveda still a slave driver? Um, I mean, she hangs out with Buggy. We don't know how she treats her crew. Because this person just said, oh, are you talking about when she stole what's-his-face? Because she's with Buggy right now, and I feel like her character has taken a change. Yeah, she's just been kind of hanging out lately. I think right now, for me, she's a three at most. Yeah. Buggy has been helping us. So right now, I don't even know how to rank Buggy. Like, he's not quite I'm a friend, but he's definitely not, like, as evil as he was. 
I'm putting them in a five because Buggy is having a change. So of we're not ranking these based off of when they first appear. We're ranking them based off of where they are now. I'm ranking them at where they are right now. Okay. She's letting things slide by her. Nice. <laughs> This beefy boy is now big change because he's with Buggy, so I'm putting him at Buggy's list. Who is this twiddle D D? Uh, what a great question. Kabaji, that guy works for Buggy. He rides a unicycle. Right. He's here. And this is dude who got ouchied, probably not dead, with the long fingers? Yeah, <laughs> not long fingers. He has knives on his fingers, but yeah, Luffy gave him a gum gum bell. He gave him a headbutt. He's up there. Uh, and this is the dude that was with him, and I do not like him much. But I, I don't really know. hate. The only thing that I can say about the Nianbon brothers is uh, they were actually kind of entertaining in the live action. They actually really were. This dude here with these glasses has had a whole change of heart. He's down here now. He's actually working with the freaking government, but I don't know how much. You know what? I'm keeping him at four. Yeah. It, he's not like. He's still an adversary of the Straw Hats, but not like, ooh, I'm an evil bastard who's brainwashing, uh, who's hypnotizing a girl. Yeah. Who's this doofus? Uh, Don Krieg? Oh, it's Don Krieg. Yeah. Okay. That's Donald it's Krieg. Long, <laughs> no. Uh, you know what I'm going to call him? What? Nothing, because he's dumb. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, he attacked people who gave him food. It's pretty evil. Anyways, he's there. Uh, you can say okay. Gein is a friend because he apologized for nearly killing Sanji. The man did nearly kill Sanji, the guy who saved his life just because his captain said so. I'm sorry, no. Like, oh, he he's felt bad after. about his crimes. You don't understand. Who is this? Uh, that's Gein. That's the guy who felt bad about hitting Sanji. Oh, this is the guy who felt bad about yeah. him. When are we talking about? But Remind he reflected. Me. He stopped at the end. He stopped at the end after Luffy could have kicked his fucking ass. I don't know, man. I'm fiving him. I think that's fair. He's not. Oh my god, it's Pearl. It's Pearl! Your it's favorite guy. He did give up his gas mask, but that's true, to save people, and Don Krieg is poison gas. You're right, a five is good for Gein, because he did bad, but in the end, he was remorseful. I think five is good. Where does Pearl belong? Um, we're, we're putting Pearl at number one. Pearl is as villain. evil as it gets, everybody. Pearl is the peak of yeah. evil, raised in a jungle, lights himself on fire. <laughs> Don't even on. think about Pearl. He'll infect your mind. The oyster man himself. Me hop. Pearl. Does Mihawk deserve Have to be you a already finished here? the birds? Because I would love to see the birds in here. Uh, does Mihawk deserve to be in friend here, you think? Because he trains Zoro. Yeah, um, whether we like it or not, Mihawk is friend because he did train Sanji. Or I mean, Zoro. He did take his eye. Zoro. I'm sorry, Zoro. But I mean, they're brothers. You do this a lot, though. But they're brothers. <laughs> okay. They're twins. Um, but he did definitely take Sanji's eye, maybe. Zoro. Yeah, that one was on purpose. Oh my god. <laughs> this piece of crap is just a piece of crap, but he's nothing really to write home about. He's a four. Yeah, ne Nezumi, the, the guy who's yeah. a corrupt marine and, and takes Arlong, bribes. like, as far as evilness and deserving to die is up really high, but as far, so I'm going to put him up high, but as far as, like, Actual ability? I mean, we did kill him. I mean, he's, like, not without ability. He was tough for Luffy to beat-ish. My mom calls me by my brother's name, and, and even though we're on the same island. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um. Oh, Hachi's friend! Hachi's a friend, friend now. Ugh, this guy. And his sucky suck face from Suckville. Ugh. Chew, he the kiss like fish. He makes me feel like he's just a walking essay. Chew. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Who dis? Who dat? Uh, that's Kib Kibur Kamari Kamaba Kibub the Starts with a K. He's a manta ray fish man and Sanji blocked his gills. 
all right you know what person you're you're just here too i mean you're nothing like full momu friend momu is a friend that's true about momu <laughs> um these two are almost friend but not i'm gonna put them actually down I'm here need, both smoker i'm gonna need to make one of these for that has cricket and lav together like it's got to be both of them i think that's uh looking nervous because that one is if we make a request that's really rude yes like if we start talking um, to the editors people can spam it yeah especially when we do things like hey we should have a poll like i did randomly like. oh that feels like <laughs> we should have a poll is that's a, a mod thing not an editor thing so that's for kaito's uh, one is if we ask for a poll you guys can spam this if it looks like we're we're giving too much work to the moderators this is the, this is the yeah. emote for it <laughs> let me see it go to it yeah go to it okay uh whoop. oh there it is oh my god that's amazing <laughs> look at the work that they're doing oh good good work <laughs> This is the this is the emote for <laughs> we're putting too much on our poor mods. So cute. <laughs> Love that. Shoop. Um Yes, I can't get over it either, Ant. Like he did. Sanji was like, here's some food, Momu. Just kidding. Kick to your face. Um does somebody count as a friend if they're dead? That's your call. They don't. The island eater ate islands and ate everybody. He was pretty brutal. I'm going to put him here. Island eater was just about it. Um, unfortunately, this piece of crap who eats things and spits them out is a level five now at this point. Yeah, he's just kind of a corrupt king of a different kingdom. Lawpool is just a... I haven't seen you in a while, my friend, but I think you're like a four. He works for Waffle. Croc. Croc is friend right now. Really? We're going friend all the way to friend. I mean, he did work with Luffy. Well, he's obviously going to do bad things in the future if you're saying that. But like if we're taking no, off. No, 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 no. That's not to predict. That's about like where we're at right now. But yeah, you're right. Like, can you imagine what it's like to be Crocodile right now? Like I had a plan that was going for like a decade that was going to make exactly. give me a super weapon. This fucker ruined my plan and put me to jail and also broke me out of jail and gave me my freedom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'd say Croc is this level of friend. Under Mihawk, under Helmeppo, under Momu, under... Uh, yeah, here, here. Because I would say in the future, he's obviously going to move back somewhere in here by the reaction. No, no, no. I, I'm, this is just based off where we're at. I just felt like friend was a lot for that, but no, it makes sense. This is also friend number one. He did risk his life to save Luffy. That's true. Yeah, you no, know you guys are right. Friend? Oh. Best friend is number two. Mr. Two is absolutely a friend. Who that? Uh, who this chick? That's Miss Doublefinger, Mr. One's partner, who has stabby fingers. She, right. she makes her biting spikes. I haven't spikes. seen her lately, so she's still a bad kid. Uh, is she? Did Was she in the cover story? Did she escape and is running that cafe, guys? Or is she in jail yeah. and we just didn't break her out because she was in the wrong room? No, I think she was... I thought she was she's in She's running a, the cafe? Um, okay, she's, run, cafe. she's running the cafe. She's running a cafe But now. I don't know her. I haven't seen anything. She could be very bad still. She could be very bad still, but she is running a cafe. So it's an evil cafe. Number three is with Crocodile and number one. Yep. Yeah, but he did save Ace and Luffy. Yep. Yeah. yeah. This shit face here is just disgusting and is like this bad. <laughs> Mr. Four. Who did? Uh, Mr. Five. He's Bomb Boy. I think he's also part of the cafe oh, squad now. Here. I didn't even recognize him at all. Yeah. Bomb Boy? I haven't seen much out of Bomb Boy lately. I don't think he's been up to much. Exploding booger, people are pointing out. Yes. I don't think we're friends, but I don't think he's that bad. And Little Miss Colorface, we saw her in a thing, and I thought she got scooped up, but we didn't see her in Impel Down. I mean, 
for what it's worth, they probably just didn't see everybody who was in there because they didn't break out every jail cell, every cell. She's not currently friend, but she's not currently foe that I know much about. Who this? That's Vivi. That's not Vivi. That, uh, yeah, that's her when she was Miss Wednesday. All right. She's friend. She's best friend. She's a good friend now. She was a foe. She shot a bazooka at a whale. Who, well, is this our pretty boy? Uh, no, that's the other, that's her partner. Miss, Mr. Uh, uh, thir Mr. Eleven? Mr. Whatever. Mr. You know, Mr. Mr. Ten. Yeah. There we go. I haven't seen much of this chick. She's here. Yep. Miss Merry Christmas is next. He's here. Oh, number 13 pairing. And they work at a cafe now. Oh, they run a cafe. We haven't hung out with them. I'm still going to put them here. They might not be good yet. Yeah. I don't know. The Straw Hats go to their cafe and they're just like, <laughs> Straw Hats, are you up to anything evil? They're just like, God, I hope not. Who dis? Uh, that's Miss Valentine, the lady with the kilo kilo fruit. Kind of weird how much they don't look like themselves like this when you're like blown into their face. Uh, I haven't oh, seen wait, wait, wait. Actually. No, no, no. That's the next so, one. Who is this one? The next one's Kilo Kilo. Which one's that one? Oh, that's, uh, oh God. No, no, yeah, that's not her. Frog Girl. Who is oh. it? Apparently the Frog Girl. I forgot she existed. But yeah, there was one of the Baroque Works agents was a Frog Girl. I don't even know about her, so she's there. I mean, she's in the, I don't know. Yeah. She's a Frog Girl who had a bomb. <laughs> Miss Kilo Kilo is going here because I don't know much, but she's also cafeing as far as I can remember. Now we have Nicole Robin. Robin. Is She's the bestest friend. As a as a big Robin fan, I agree. I hate this piece of crap. Bellamy. Evil nip goes. <laughs> I'm putting him there. What are you talking about, Straw Hat? As evil nip level goes, I'm putting this piece of crap right there. That's right, dope flamingo. <laughs> Don Quixote. Bellamy, come here. I You've think been mentioned. You've mistaken it. It's actually dope flamingo. Um, and then Bellamy. NL is up here. Guys, right he's now. not showing up. Bellamy, touch. He's not listening. All right, guys. The boy may not arrive unless people buy him treats. Okay, apparently I have to do push-ups instead. Good. You I don't know anything about right now, so you're going here. Okay, wait, I'm switching to tier list. People can't see it. I'll be back. Yeah. It's because I was trying to show you the dog, everybody. Don't worry. Um. Where do I want to put you guys? Two. No, he's named after the show 100 or something. No, do not call him the heavenly demon Don Quixote de Flamingo. He is dope Flamingo. Um, this guy. Oh, someone meant to do a treat. That's funny. You can give him a treat now. Oh. Who's this one? Bellamy, come here. Okay, before you do that, I'm switching away from this for a second to give Bellamy a treat. Bellamy! Did, did Azzy take the dog? Did my wife take dog? He's not here. Buddy? Guys, I have terrible news. The dog is not showing up. Do I go look in the room and make sure he's not gone? I'm gonna go check for my check on my dog. I'll be right back, everybody. The dog gone. The dog gone. <laughs> the bird rider which had chopper right no i think he's probably good now he's friend i don't know much about him he hasn't done anything <laughs> great for us but he's friend 
Yeah, as he said, she was shopping, so I thought that she would uh, not take him, but she must have taken him to my sister's house. The dog is gone. So tragic. There is no dog anymore. I'm sorry. I will give him a treat and a pet when he's back. You there? Either that or write down the people who paid <sighs> for his love. That's true. I'm so sorry to waste your guys' points. Hopefully he'll be back soon. If he's back before the end of stream, I will give him the pets and the treats. Only what about uh, Nakama here mm -hmm. for Robin? Yeah, I've been thinking of a different friendship level for my biggest friends, but like, we'll see. Like Mr. Two, this Robin, Vivi? This is friend, and this is good friend. Dog who boxes. Love this baby. Hey, uh, that dog is evil and tried to kill people. It never redeemed itself. It, I'm just saying the otter and vulture. Oh, this is the bad dog. This isn't my dog outside. Never mind. No, no, no. This is the yeah. This is the dog. This is Holly, the dog. Holly, the dog that punches. Dog of punches goes up here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this guy's doing. I oh, he was the hot springs dude. Yes, he dug he a there. tunnel to Alabasta. Who is this moron? Uh, that's Foxy. Oh yeah, hi Foxy. You're bad in a weird way, Foxy. He's not good, but he's not bad in a normal way, yeah. You're bad here, and I don't know, Foxy. You got a thing going on in that you're bad, but you're also kind of good. You kinda uh, and this guy, I don't give a shit what anyone says, is all the way up there. Which guy? Aokiji. Oh my god. All the way there. I wouldn't put him that high, but he definitely isn't straight up good. I'm sorry. Okay. He gave he gave the buster call to a person who is actually like a narcissistic, insane, power mongering Nepo baby. That is a true thing that he did, yes. He has a lot of redemption to do in my books before I'm pulling him down. Damn, okay. Yeah. He throws Saul, he throws Robin. You know what he can do? Well, let's hope he, he does something kiss good. My ass. That's what he can do. He did give the buster yeah. call to an incompetent Nepo baby. That is true. Um, is this supposed to be Frankie? Uh, maybe Paladin. Maybe. Uh, that's the Frankie is family. <laughs> that's the entire Frankie family. Frankie family is friend. And and so is Frankie. <sighs> and you know what? Uh oh. What? What? We need a new tier. What is it? Uh, we need to make a add a row above, <gasps> and then we need to go into it, and we need to call this row. Um, I'm evil as hell. Uh huh. comma but mostly uh-huh i just suck <laughs> okay and we need to make it black oh we can't change the writing fine then we'll make it this there we go i feel good about that all right come here spandman spandman boom Spoondmon. I'm evil as hell, but mostly I just sucked here. It has its first <laughs> its first official inaugural participant. Spandom. <laughs> Spoogemon. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Who's this beefcake? Uh... Oh, that's the big, the big, uh, like, CP6 boxer that Sanji kicked his head through the ceiling. Right. Yeah, he's still bad. We haven't heard nothing about him. He's still, he's worse than a dog. Probably about the, sorry about the saving sound y'all just heard. Don't worry about it. Shouldn't happen again. Probably, maybe. Probably. Oh, this crazy bastard. Wanzi, the noodle man. 
you're gross and therefore I hate you more. So you're there. Damn, that's pretty evil. I love how the people in our most evil tier are Dofi, very, very obviously evil. Anaru, very obviously incredibly evil narcissist monster. And Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> don't at me I didn't at you <laughs> we all know that Pearl's not not a good kid all right <laughs> one of the worst kids ever that's a bad kid yeah, this was the guy who wanted into CP9 and fought uh F centaur Frankie yeah he got dead it was sad He's not evil at all anymore. He's dead. Oh, you know what? We should have a category that is just dead. <laughs> there should be a dead tier. <laughs> well, if we're going to be honest, there's a few people who are dead, and I, I didn't put them in properly. But I think if they're dead, going by how evil they were when they died is perfectly fine. All right. Because you need to differentiate. Like, someone can die after they're redeemed, and someone can die when they're still evil, you know? And that's different. Pearl should be a new category. Every category where things are the worst should be called Pearl. Oh my God. Where you, would that put the zombies is a good question. are a level two evil. You are, hey, this is a good boy. <gasps> it's T-Bone. Where do we put oh, him? Because he's a villain to the Straw Hats. But he's a really good dude. Dusty, what did you say, Dusty? Uh, how is that a bad? I don't know. I don't know. What did you say, Dusty? What did you try to say? He does a hundred good deeds a day. Where do we put him? Because he's a vi he's an enemy. He's not a friend of the Straw Hats, but he's like the best dude. Oh, we're making a new tier for T-Bone. So good, unless you're a straw hat. <laughs> Fair. That's a good one. Okay. T-Bone's great. Genuinely, genuinely the type of Marine there needs to be more of. This, I hate this thing so much. This dude with the paw, cha pa 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 If I remember correctly... When I mentioned how much his laugh was annoying, you came around to hating him less. Which was weird, because that wasn't the goal. He hasn't done anything redemption-y. No. He's there. And, um, so is she. I hate her. Now that she is a stupid fruit, I hate her even more. <laughs> Bubble girl. Elephant is there. This boy is badder than the other boys. Kaku is badder? Yeah. Why is Kaku badder? He's badder than the other people from the CP9. Because he's more efficient. All right. You know, that's fair. So I'm going to guess that there's another CP9 who's even more badder than him. Mm-hmm. Who's this piece of peace? Uh, that's the wolf boy. He turned into wolf. His he name is Jabra. He... This one here is super badder. Yeah, Luchi literally likes his job because he's legally allowed to murder people. Yeah, and I'm going to put his pigeon with him. <gasps> Do you think the pigeon's in on it? I think the pigeon knows. I think the pigeon tells him to do bad things. You know how you're already a bad person with a bad attitude who thinks bad thoughts, but then but then you've got somebody near you who's like, you're right, everyone is the worst. These people don't understand you. They don't deserve to be on the earth. They hurt others. And you're like, you're right, I should kill everyone. You think the pigeon he's is like, a bad influence on Lucci. All right. Great. He's, like a, he's like the bad guy on your shoulder, only he's like, the you don't have a good guy. You just have a pigeon. 
Ooh, I for one ship Robin and Lucci. Come on, Ooh. Ant. That Ant, that's Come Ant, on. no. Ant, no, he's a serial killer. He's a bad, bad kid, Ant. A he bad, bad kid. Who this? I can't see. <laughs> Kaza, can we give Pearl his own tier? I don't think he deserves the company he's keeping. <laughs> That's a good point. They make a really good point. Their I ship name is just Rob Lucci. That's very funny. Okay, well, that's different. Now I want them to be in a relationship. No! <laughs> okay, new tier. Just Pearl. Here you go, you little bastard. There we go. That's better, everyone. Thank you for that suggestion. Guys, guys, I have great news. Bellamy. What's about? Yay. Bellamy. Good treats. Good baby. Good baby. All right, we're back to the tier list. Good boy. Good boy. He's so toot. I love him. I love that boy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I have to go do push-ups. All right, you keep doing it. <laughs> Who this, chat? Who this one? The next one. Who are they? I think it's Oimo and Kashi. Oh. Is this from um when we were on Long Ring Longland? Five. Four. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, it's Oimo oh, and Kashi, the giants that Usopp convinces to be friends. They, they friends, but they're not this kind of friends. They're this kind of friends. And this guy, he sucks. He sucks this much. And you suck a lot. Oh, this category is called One Piece Naughty Corner, a.k.a. The Villains. <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> and that is why at the very top, we have the worst villain, Pearl. <laughs> Just Pearl. <laughs> Pearl. Just Pearl. And then the newest category is So Good Unless You Are a Straw Hat. Uh-huh. Yeah. I just I'm just cluing people in on the things. They didn't know what the things were. Who's this handsy bastard? Uh that's one of oh, there's a vice admiral with the spider fruit who grew a bunch of extra leg arms. I didn't include him because um I didn't feel like it. He's Vice Admiral Mamanga. He grow arms. It's this one. Right here. Yeah, I didn't feel like He's including here. him in the devil fruit I list. I haven't seen him. I didn't include him in the devil fruit list. Over here. He stabs his hand yeah. with uh, Robin, or with uh, Boa, when Boa's like, I turn you to stone, and he goes, no, you won't. Ah, uh, okay. He's pretty bad. Uh, and you are bad medium. What is with your head? Who are you? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I see you now. I see you. You piece of crap. I see you. Fun, guys, to watch me move in and out on the resolution like that. Yeah, people Even love that. You're very, very bad. Mm -hmm. And I can't tell who you are in black and white. Are you supposed to be smoker? Who is this? Hmm. Just a sec. I'm going to close the, the door. Bastard. Okay. You okay. Suck. All right, I'm back. And Doors you, closed. My Ready to stream. <laughs> super suck. Yeah. Oh God, there's so many vice admirals, right? And you suck this much so far. And Garp, you're a hard one for me on evilness. Yeah. You're not so evil, I, but you're you're not friends. I feel like he's T-bone. He's T-bone. Yeah. Like. You most of the time a very good dude, just suck. shitty to Luffy, the straw hat. 
And you suck only a five now. And so do you. And you suck all the way up here because you're gross. Yeah. Who are these? I can't see the next one. It's dark. Wait, Absalom's not that evil? Where'd I put Absalom? You put him in five with Perona. Oh, I thought he was the other dude from Buggy's crew. Absalom. No, that's Absalom. That's that's the that's the sexual assaulter. He's with uh Bujmon. Span <laughs> he's with Spanum? <laughs> yeah. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kaido just belong. had to add the allowed term suck balls for someone to describe Absalom. Oh my god. Mama Drock, I had to shorten Pearl's name for the request because he is apparently now a banned term and I thought you would appreciate that. Oh my sweet <laughs> baby Petunia. That Kaito, is the greatest thing I have ever heard. Ever. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that is so good. Pearl is a fan it, term. That's amazing. Cannot love that more. Oh my god, I love that. Okay, who is this dark and shadowy place? Uh, who is who is this friend? Who is this bad bad boy? Oh, this is the zombies. This just represents the zombies of Thriller Bar. Oh, all the zombies? Oh no, they're they're nearly friends. They're at the end. Kuma. Oh, Kuma. Ooh, you're hard, man, because your friend and foe. Yeah, but it feels like putting him in the Mamonga in the tier with T-Bone is weird because he helped the Straw Hats. But on the other hand, he'll never do it again according to him because he's lost his humanity. Yeah, but does that mean he's dead and he died a friend? That's exactly the question I was just asking. I think that's what that would mean. But you've said you think he'll regain his consciousness, but then is the one doing the bad things, that's still not him. So I think that's fair, if you're correct. Yeah, I think he died friend because he sat there and programmed himself because he knew he was going to change. Mm -hmm. And he programmed himself to guard their boat until they returned. Yep. So I'm going to stick him on friend right now. <laughs> but I'm putting him at the very end because it's a waffle area. People are asking why the bird who fucked up the Mary and Chopper uh, gets to be in friend here. Where? Uh, it's Where not, are we? It's not, guys. I think you're thinking of the Frankie family. The Frankie family's in friend here. That's Frankie family. Yeah. We know there's no Duval. It is what it is. What are you going to do? Next to Mr. Um, oh, next Duval to Mr. One. The right mustache now. guy. No, no, yeah, you're the right. The mustache guy is the dude with the bird who fucked up the Mary. That I think you missed it. I think you th thought he was a different dude. I thought this was the dude who had the bird thing from Skypea, and Skypeans are friends now. Oh, all the Skypeans are friends. He worked for Anaru. My bad. Yeah. We never friended. Yeah, we never friended him. He was just a bad boy. Oh, no. I think Spandam's about to have a new friend. He's number one. Spandam, you've been outspandamed. I dislike this person a lot. St. Charlos is horrible. And I love this evil guy, but he very powerful. Mm. I'm I'm gonna put him here though for now. This is friend. This is good friend. Hmm. People think there should be a Kuma and Pacifista dis distinction, but here's why I think not. Pacifistas ain't people. Yeah, that's why I was thinking that too. That's a hard one though. I can see their point. Yeah, because pacifistas and Kuma are different, but also pacifistas aren't a person. But I guess the zombies aren't. No, zombies were people kind of. Yeah, they were just because they had the Wait, personalities of the shadows. So they actually were more people. Who's this 
chick I moved because I mixed her up with someone else. Who's what chick? This chick in level two at the end. Uh, Sadie. Sadie the sadist, the torturer at Impel Down. Then who is the one on the bottom? I'm talking about the one in number two. Yeah, the one... Because I thought, that's what I thought too, but this is Sadie the sadist. Yeah, okay. The uh, one at the end of number two is Sadie. So which one are you talking about? Now look at the one inside of the leftovers. You have to scroll down. I can't see the leftovers. Oh, you're did. right. Uh, no, no, there's just two people from Impel Down. This is another lady, the domino from Impel Down. Less important woman. Okay. They're both bad. They're both bad. They both work in Impel Down. I, I would say the one that's not uh, uh, named after sadism and is uh, not a torturer is probably less evil, would be my guess. And now Blackbeard is definitely top tier worstest. He's a pretty bad dude. He's not, he's not like a good man, is the thing about Blackbeard. <laughs> and this piece of shit... I'm putting right up here. Don't at me, people. As far as being a straw hat goes, that dude is not good. Oh. Oh. Who's next? Who we at? Oh, wait a minute. Now, add a row above. Okay. Call it what it is. Okay. Is it people who kill Ace? And now we have an I killed Ace tier. Yeah. I, I thought that might be what was, what was happening here. <laughs> yeah, that's where you both. You are worse than Pearl. God Let that damn. sit. Let that sit. He is, to date, one of two characters that have broken Luffy's spirit. The other being Kuma, yep. but it was helping and Luffy didn't realize that. Yep. <clears throat> who is this dude down here? This this ugly sucker. Who is he? You gotta scroll down. I can't see. I did? It's gonna take a minute. Uh, that is Blue Jam, the pirate who beat the shit out of Luffy when he was a kid. Right. I hate you. You're up here. Okay, now, I just want to put out there that I never thought anyone could be worse than Pearl. That was a thing you believed, for sure. And yet, here we are. Here we are in the modern era with a person who's clearly worse than Pearl. He hits kids. That one up there. Okay. Okay. That's it. I feel pretty good about this. I think that was pretty good. I think you did a good job. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there was a lot of them. There, there are a lot of villains. I feel like pretty good ranking. I, I agree with your take. Um, what's our takeaway at the end of the day? What do we say before we head out? What do you mean? Like, we're done our tier list. So what do we, do you want to, is, is there a note we want to leave on? Go check out the Patreon if you want to watch Mama Drock uh, live, uh, the VOD of her having live read uh, the Saba, Return to Saba Audi. Yeah, and I think I'm going to start. So um, the last time that I was on with the Patreon, I gave them a couple of um, names of different history podcasts that I watch or listen to and some um, manga history podcasts and some Japanese history and some other things that I listen oh. to where I got some interesting ideas. And um, I'm going to be from now on recommending on the regular channel when we're doing our Saturdays, I'm going to be recommending podcasts that I think that you guys would really enjoy if you're looking just for some history and stuff. But I'm just going to recommend one thing each week. I'm not going to overwhelm anyone. We we pr that's mean. we promised our patrons that we would react to the you would watch the va uh, the um, AMV of One Piece in six minutes today. Uh, we promised our patrons we would do that. Yeah, because we were tired at the end of reading Return to Sabi Audi. Do I need to do that in this in this sphere? Yeah, we promised we'd do it on this stream. Okay. First, I'm going to... 
how to um, first i'm going to ask you to get somebody to send it to yeah me. someone send it to her in discord so that she doesn't need to open it in her browser and affect the recommendations because even though people don't understand this i try to keep my computer mm -hmm. free of spoilies uh where would we put steli and sabo's dad uh i feel like steli is just kind of a little shit. As much as I want to say worse things, he's just kind of a little shit. He'd be like a five. That's my guess. What do you think? Yeah, that's how I feel too. Like, I want him to be worse because I hate him more, but like, he's not like exceptionally evil. No. Um... So the one I'm going to recommend today, and this one has English people saying things, and so I I apologize for that. And we'll also put it in our show notes. But the problem is, is that it is a it's a tremendous one, and I'll recommend the other ones next time with the history of manga and stuff. But this took me in a new direction and let me see some really cool things that I just did not know before about um, uh, not just about history but about um manga oh no this isn't that one you're getting this one first anyways okay. you can just deal you'll you'll be happy i'm getting so if we put it in our show notes it's by it's from the podcast the rest is history and it's japan um then full colon samurai and shoguns and so it goes through a huge swath of japanese history and it's made me think about the way that the tier of the government is done and if it's different i started to ask crazy questions like okay if who's above the dragons and why is dragon named dragon could dragon have been above and then i was like calm your calm your face calm your face um and so i think that you will super super love that and i highly highly recommend it and i'm going to recommend other ones the next time that we're on Every single time we come on, I'll recommend one. I'll usually recommend something new. This is one that I recommended to the Patreons last time. All right. And they said they they thought people, other people would appreciate listening to some of the things that they know that I'm listening to, where I'm getting some of my ideas from. Awesome. Um, the Discord link, by the way, is in the Twitch bio. Do you want to go, the video's in the book club. Do you want to go get it ready and we'll count in? I have my Bluetooth earbud in now so that I can listen without Twitch hearing it and us uh, demonetizing and uh, stripping audio from this stream. Yeah. I'm going to need to do it inside of my other computer. Yep. And click my butt in. And then somebody... Thank you, Katu. I'm doing a speed paint of Robin just real quick while we're doing this because I just needed something to fill time with. Then go back to your own screen. Uh, oh, I guess we're not looking at tier lists anymore. Yeah, everybody, you can join me in a speed paint of Robin while Mama reacts. Whoop. Speed paint. Mm. Fantastical. I can watch it then now on my regular computer. Oh, you can, can. you can, yeah. I can go into the Discord. It's react to an AMV time. I'm so stoked excited. Where did we put oh, it? Here. And people who want to recommend somewhere to raid in six minutes will be done the AMV. So have that ready because we'll be done when that's done pretty much. They said book club. Oh. One piece in six minutes. All right. All right, everybody get ready to press play. Let me know when your ad is done and you're ready to count us in. Okay, in five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, Mama Drox live reacting. That frickin' hat, I just, I just love that stupid hat so much. It means so much now. 
And now you've read you, Return of Sabaody. You, you know whose hat you, that is. Zoro. Hey, Luffy, I believe in you. Mm. Sanji was so skinny in the beginning, hey? Yeah, it's crazy I when forgot. you see him post time skip and he's all like buffed up. You kind of forget what he looked like when he was first introduced. Luffy, help me. The walk up. That's amazing. I need to not look because if I look down and glance at it with the music happening, I start to get emotional. Oh, uh, if you think no one will die, you're just fooling yourself. Well, there was some foreshadowing. <laughs> well, yeah, it turns out someone died. Screw you, Bellamy. Get your face hit. Yeah, that's right. Gates of Heaven. That was the first time I knew how bad things could get was Enaru. Yeah. Man nearly destroys an island. And then if you happen to be looking for certain parts of evidence when he's about to, people pray to a god for salvation, and uh, then the clouds are parted by Luffy wielding a giant sun effigy. If you're looking for evidence in a particular direction. I want to have... I think I'm going to watch the anime when I'm done reading. Really? I mean, yeah. the good thing is you can skip the filler and just zoom ahead sometimes because goddamn is the pacing difficult. Look, if it was all well paced, I think it'd be awesome. It, uh, people do recommend one pace as an option, which is an abridged anime where they cut out a lot of the filler bits. There is the remake coming up. Oh, this part. <laughs> it's so heartbreaking. No, oh, I don't want to watch this part again. Look yeah. at him crawling on the ground in futility. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, Ace, you bastard. Give him back. <laughs> oh my God.
I'm saving you even if it means my death. <laughs> You did save him, Luffy. You did. <laughs> Don't make me see it again. No. Oh, shit. Yay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Wow. It's really good, though. Oh, like it's so well done. It's so well done. There's, there's another... And it's funny how doing a recap really reminds you of just how much shit we've been through. Oh, absolutely. It's powerful. And it just is crazy. Oh my god. Oh, that was so cruel. You're right. <laughs> it's so cruel. <laughs> it says wave at Peladin Berserker. Can I send my bird mom at Peladin Berserker? <laughs> uh, it's not available yet. We have, haven't uploaded those yet, and they've got to be approved. Oh god. That was hard. Hard times. Hard times, folks. Hard times. Yeah, Robin, that was so well done, though. This Robin's looking kind of nice for speed paint. Yeah, her bridge of her nose on the top is different, but look, yeah. I wanted it to be exaggerated and more intense. I think it looks cool. I'm not gonna lie, the weird things coming out of her head make her look scuppy and too. But she, that's her post time skip design. She has strandies. I know, but those strandies are too high up. Oh my, no, they are not. I looked up reference. The strandies are above her glasses. Not like that. Oh my God, they are. I don't know what to tell you. I looked up reference. Oh, my God. I'm allowed to stylize. That's beside the point. Skype. Oh, my God. Um, <clears throat> What's a 14th opening? Mm, okay. Um, Well, I think it's not going to mean anything to you. The problem is it's a nostalgic opening because the 14th opening recreates the original, but you don't know the original opening. So we're going to have to watch the anime openings together at some point. That's something we promise we're going to do when we catch up. Um, so how soon as the, yeah, I know. Oh, we should talk about, we decided going. what we want to do for, uh, our, uh, Patreon stream this month because we think React content is good for Patreon, like stuff where Mama is reading something live or watching something live. So what we're going to do for Patreon this month, our Patreon patron only stream for February, is we are going to set up Mama Druck watching all of the G8 filler arc live on stream. Obviously, we can't put the arc itself on. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be streaming it to the Discord and people can watch it in our Discord because then I'm just sharing a video with people, my friends. I'm just watching a video with my friends on Discord. And you could watch it on your own in theory. And the stream is just going to have Mama reacting to it. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I'm super stoked because people have been right pressed about us not having the... Um, G8 done. Mm -hmm. If you pause and talk about it enough, you don't have and don't it's, save it. Toei to is the vlog. really, really litigious. Uh, I don't want to risk it with them because the standards different companies have and what they're willing to pursue changes a lot. And Toei goes after stuff that is covered by fair use constantly. Uh, and I just don't want to deal with that. So we are just not going to do what we're technically allowed. And instead, we are going to do something that won't get flagged. Yeah, we're going to do lots of different things in there. It's a it's a weird area we go to on a different night and yeah. do strange things. But I think I'm also going to do some history stuff. Whether oh, that's, absolutely. Uh, I yeah, just think everybody's cause... going to want the result of that. So I think an open discussion where we just talk about historical and, and like kind of hash it out and do some research and listen to suggestions and then like a proper stream is the best format to do where like yeah. the talking it out doing research uh, hearing people out is as a patreon thing yeah but 
Yeah, fair I, use doesn't exist in Japan. I don't know. I don't want to react direct with people about history because that's not how history is researched. Like history is comparing relative ideas by different historians and, oh, and primary sources. I, but having, I know I've seen streamers mm -hmm. do research streams and it they work really well. And people suggest you sources to look out and you read them. Uh, and then people give you like their sources based off what you find interesting of that. Like it can be a really, really good like cooperative learning thing. You read online? Yeah, you just read out loud what you're researching. That is a very long thing, but yep. yeah, okay. We can it's talk thing about people it. Do. I feel very, I feel very protective and precious about history research. Fair. And so, um, am I going to show this up in the dub? That out a little bit better. All uh, right, guys, I draw while I do stuff. I'm not. We're not do. <laughs> we're not doing the sub. I draw. Rem remember the show. Remember the thing I do. Hey, isn't this Saturday? This is Saturday. Don't we do subs? Oh yeah, do you want to do a plug? Yeah, man. Also, uh, people so start figuring out something to recommend because we're about to stop the stream. So start figuring out what you want to recommend to me after our plugs. All right, it's plug time. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here and imagine my little um, sub coming up. Yep. And filling the tree. Yep. We got too late, Captain. That's too down, slow. Yeah. I gotta go. We've been counted down. Thirteen. Hi. How's it going? Hi. Uh, it's pretty me. good. It's me, Mama Drock, and I'm here to say something. I don't like it when you're YouTube unless you're paying full attention. I'm paying full attention. I'm here. Listen to me, Drock. When you're YouTube and you're not paying full attention, you ruin my group. I'm paying full attention. Are you promise? Well, I was until you pushed it so hard. Now I'm thinking about the fact that I had a ski hill dream last night. Last night. I knew it. Well, you you caused that. I was paying full attention until you kept pushing at me. I knew I couldn't trust you to pay full I'm attention. I'm YouTube now. I'm full attention. <laughs> okay, let's do this again. Count us in from five. <laughs> they just did a 30-second countdown. Kaido put so much work no, in No, I want to be counted in from five. You ruined my groove. <laughs> <laughs> no one's doing a four. Okay. <laughs> I'm being too hard to do a sub now. <laughs> to inhuman decibels. <laughs> oh god, so good for me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Are we ready yet? Yeah. Do you have? Do you have this? I got this. Here we go. <laughs> hey there. Hi. YouTube. Yeah. How's it going? What's up? Uh, it's pretty good. What are you doing right now? Um, I adding in a bunch of emergency measures last minute because I'm about to have to hear a hearing on how I'm not providing security for my the user base um in the Senate. Oh wow! Yeah, that's, that sounds tough. Uh, it'll it'll probably be fine. I'm rich, so I don't actually worry about consequences. Okay, you got a lot on your mind right now, though, right? Oh, uh, usually. Here's what I was thinking. Then I've got this uh this little stream going and. Uh, my son and I do it. We're pretty cool. I'm not going to lie oh, to cool. you. I think you'd like us. Um, and it would really relax you and you would enjoy it. And here's what I'm saying. Okay. I think we both know that you're in trouble because you can be a bit of a jerk sometimes. Mm, that does happen. I do that as YouTube. That's a thing I do. Yeah. And so because of that, um, you kind of make the algorithm cheat. So what I'm suggesting is that you subscribe to it and show what good form that is to actually subscribe to things that you like oh. and press like to things that you like. I think it'll go a long way in the Senate. You know, I've checked the algorithm that the things you said do help. I don't know if they help in the Senate, but, uh, you know, I'll do I'll do whatever. They definitely help us, though. And honestly, YouTube, you could use the goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> you. You are not wrong. People be pressed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here's what I think we do, YouTube. I'm suggesting that you like and, like and subscribe mm -hmm. 
You make that your thing. You show everyone else that you're going to quit pissing around in the in in the YouTubes, uh-huh. and you're going to start letting people, you know, not just automatically find things without liking and subscribe, so that you actually don't have to monetize or pay for anything. And I think that people would really appreciate that. I know we would. Okay. That's all I have to say about that YouTube. Go away. You've got a lot on your plate. I I'm do. Done talking There's to you. a lot happening right now. <laughs> Here's the second YouTube pitch. Don't talk back, YouTube. Hey there, everyone in YouTube land. Like and subscribe this video. Why? It helps us. And you like us. You know how I know that you like us? Well, because it shows up. You watch this. So that means you liked it. And if you forgot to press like, press like now. And that's all I have to say about that. High five. Now go find your best friend and braid their hair. Thanks everybody for being here. You guys are great. I I honestly love these streams because it's nice to have a time that we could just be a little bit weirder and just hang out. <laughs> a little bit weirder? A little bit weirder. This is just a little bit weirder than when we do a review. It's a lot bit weirder. I like these ones because they mostly go into VOD and not the regular places. And yeah. I feel like we just get to talk to people who are kind of part of our really tight community yeah, yeah it tightens the circle a little bit to do these the people the people yeah. who are just here and to hang out like it feels like we're creating our own little straw hat community oh it does yeah and i Speaking love that bro. of all the spots are filled so i'm not advertising this but i'm more reminding people uh we have one level of our patreon called crew where if people pay $27 a month, so quite a bit, they can write three minutes of an opinion they have, a theory they have, an idea they want to present that's relevant to one of the videos we're going to be doing that month. Uh, if you notice that there's a crew space open, it's not for this month, it's they're all taken. But if you notice crew space open for a month and you hop in and you want some, you want us to talk about something, you write up to three minutes of written word and we will read it out on air and then discuss it a little bit, kind of mull over your idea. This was kind of um, yeah. taken from how much we really liked Kaito and Cricket's thoughts on uh, Nola and Brooke respectively. And Mama just realized there's so many characters that people find so much depth in in One Piece that other people don't notice. And we thought it'd be cool for people to be able to have a contribution to the stream where they could um, pitch what they see in a character. Well, we just thought about how cool the um, the whole the whole thing was like after we heard about Nola and after we heard about Brooke, we got to see those characters so differently, but so did everyone else. Mm-hmm. Like everyone else talked all the time, how much it changed the way their perspective of how they saw them and how it changed the story for them. And that's what we're all about here. So we were like, that would be a really good thing. If you were like one of the top tier Patreons that we would get to hear, like if you went into it, it would be your opportunity Mm -hmm. to tell your big story about somebody that you love. We're also going to give other opportunities and it's monthly. So you can be like, yeah, this month I'm jumping in on this Mm -hmm. one. Um, Yeah. Kaito, would I need to be in that tier to share my theory about Grandpa Noel in the future and why they're called the sun god? Kaito, I'm very curious at what you're talking about. Uh, so yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's. Uh, you don't need to be that tier. You're our mod. You've been doing insane amounts of work for us. Uh, so you get the way I see it. The crew is basically the tier that puts you on par with the privileges we give our moderators. Because Stasi boy uh, came on to talk about Berserk in our last tier list stream, and I am A-OK having our mods have uh, an extra voice in the community because you guys put a ton of work in. You sure do. Skits, you made it, but, but we're ending. Think- we're looking for someone to raid now. <laughs> Nothing happened. Oh, wait. I want to take a moment, please. A moment. Give me a moment. Let me talk. Give me one of my moments. I never say this word. You know how important it is because I'm saying the word moment. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to thank everyone who's joined our Patreon and made this possible because for Drock doing work like this and turning art and streaming into his career, it's a really big deal. And it's one of the reasons that I joined here because I so believe in people who follow the dream of their passion. Aww. And so by joining Patreon when you can... You are absolutely supporting that. And I appreciate you 250,000%. And everyone else, I want to let you know, all your likes and subscribes and your sharing with friends and asking people to watch, it means so much to us. We have been really, really blessed to have such a cool community. And it makes me feel like uh, 
a new sense of joy in our world. So thank you so much, everyone. Yeah, when we get comments about people who feel like uh, we've added to a series they love or shown them a perspective on something they didn't consider and that this is bringing them value in their life, it means more than you can imagine to to think that what we're doing here, talking about something that we're both enjoying so much is giving people something in their life. Like, it means so much and we're so happy to have all of you. This has been incredible and I can't wait until we're caught up and we can start making even more diverse content. Uh, it's so we're going to do some things. We have a lot planned and I think you're going to have more and more ideas as you know more and can see more of what we could talk about and do. Yeah. Mm. Ah, so stoked. So stoked. All right. Then it's okay. on the way, Drock. Who are we writing? Are we going to Iron Mouse? I love Iron Mouse. Oh yeah. How do you spell Iron Mouse again? I spell it with an I. How do you spell it? Okay. I, I just, some people when they spell stuff, spell it weird. It's just literally Iron Mouse. That's perfect. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look, I always forget because there's some people who's are, who's theirs are silly. Guys, you're about to hear my voice echoing because it turns out that um, Streamlabs is still broken and doesn't let me raid through Streamlabs. So I'm very sorry. Wait, I just got to mute Mama for a sec. Then you don't have to. Sorry, Mama, you can, they can't hear you. If you're talking, they can't hear you for a second because I'm. You're you're inaudible. She's inaudible, everybody. Now you're audible. Nobody can hear me now. Now I can be crazy. I'm a crazy person. Nobody can hear me. Uh, no, actually, no, you're perfectly audible now. You're, I turned you back on. Damn it. I went crazy and now everyone can tell. All right, guys, we're going to the mouse. We're, we're rating streamer of the year, Iron Mouse, the mouse of metal. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I have I always have a blast. I always enjoy doing this. I love these tier lists and just getting to be a little bit more relaxed and talk about the series retrospectively. It's a ton of fun. I think the next one is going to be after Spain. Y'all know what that means. After Spain will be the next one. And after that, Japan. Anyways, until next time, it's been lovely Bye, talking to you. Bye.